Your face is what I long and long Without a clue Without a sign Without a question yet The real question to be asked Where have I been? I'm a chef chef At this masquerade Hiding both face and mind Afraid for you to draw I'm a chef chef What a shit to be Please don't take off my mask Revealing God Nothing is to be found A mirror right in front of me That's where I find An empty glass Reflection does the truth It's everything what's all to be told I need the mask I'm a chef chef At first masquerade Hiding no face in mind A free for you to draw I'm a chef chef Chained up to my core Please don't take off my mask My place to hide There's nothing inside When it always me Burning down the walls Is that a way For me to break I'm a chef chef At Booth's Masquerade I didn't both face and mine A free for you to draw I'm a chef chef Have no face to show Please don't take off my mask My disguise Give us a dwell along. 
All right, what's up everyone? OJ here. Welcome back to another stream, another OJ live stream. Thank you guys for joining me today. Sorry for being a little bit, a little bit later than what we usually start when a little bit over. Um, I was still getting some optimizations ready. Um, for those who don't know, Streamlabs had a huge update, like a huge, huge update um, where uh, they went over, they did a bunch of different stuff. Uh, although I need to change this though, because this, I need to change this. So yeah, they had a big update where they changed a bunch of things. So I'm still kind of learning how to do this update, you know? I'm still kind of learning about it and kind of understanding exactly what this update's about. Uh, well, let me go ahead and change this to boxed. There we go. So there we go. So yeah, so I'm kind of still learning how to update, you know, how to update's working and how everything's going. But overall, going pretty good. Uh, we're streaming on Mixer too. So if you're not following us on Mixer, make sure you give us a follow on Mixer um, as well. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tweet that out in terms of part of Ninja Ninja News. Uh, so we are on Mixer too. So uh, so yeah. So oh, hold if up. You're yeah, not and actually, just double played real quick. All right, there we go. It doesn't it doesn't mute it when I first go to the stream. It keeps it on the audio up there. All right, so we are on Mixer. So go ahead and give us a follow on a Mixer as well if you're not there. If you're watching on Twitch or whatever the case is. So uh, so shout outs. Um, all right, guys um all right so let's go ahead and let's get into some of the more of the ninja news then i'll get to you guys' comments across all the different platforms mixer twitch all that good stuff uh so i want to first and foremost say guys we had a switch news video uh make sure you guys go check it out talking about some more astral chain hype talking about the pre-purchase being live from nintendo.com um we also have the uh, mortal kombat 11 dlc i think somebody asked me yesterday hey are you excited for the mortal kombat 11 dlc and i was like not really because i don't play mortal kombat but i mean i can still talk about it i think it's pretty cool in terms of the dlc that's coming out terminator and stuff like that so make sure you guys check that out that's going to be on the switch um so we also had that and then also some other news as well so yeah my recent switch news video every day uh monday through friday um at uh, 6 a.m is switch news so you guys are going to be getting that every single day um so yeah uh this morning i don't know why i i woke up early and i went and got food and then i was really tired for some reason i'm not really sure so i went back to sleep for a little bit and then I woke up and got the stream ready. So I've uh, been a pretty normal day. Nothing really crazy broke. I think that's what happened. Like I woke up in the morning. There was nothing like really big news. So I didn't want to do like another video because like, we already have the PE podcast tonight. So I was like, okay, well, we're going to have two separate videos, you know, today. So I didn't want to overload you guys with another video and then another live stream. And then the PE podcast tonight. That's a little bit, uh, that's a little bit too much, a little bit too much. So, so either way. Um, all right. So yo, shout outs. Let's go. Shout outs, my boy. Atachi the hero what a name Atachi the hero with that elite ninja membership we are gonna wait for you know who to grace our presence we're gonna wait for you know who to grace our presence thank you so much Atachi appreciate that getting that mankaku shining on if your name is Atachi the hero you've got to be an elite ninja here you've you've got to do it you're the one who's running this whole thing let's go thank you so much though i appreciate that welcome to the elite ninja village i appreciate it um make sure you reach out to me on twitter if you want to get your exclusive discord link to where you can link up with us play super smash brothers enter into our tournaments we have a mario kart 8 deluxe big time tournament $10 eShop uh, eShop card tournament on the line if we do hit our goal for 150 that will be bumped up to a $15 eShop card um, every single time we hit a goal we'll be bumped up a little bit more we actually had our bumped up to a $20 eShop card for Super Smash Brothers that Super Cabra one uh, so yeah if you, if you elite ninja up you definitely get some uh, nice little bonuses and rewards and get, get entered into tournaments and just get better in general in the games and Super Smash Brothers Mario Kart and stuff like that so you'll Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, appreciate the support. And anybody else wants to, feel free so you can get in that Mario Kart tournament. That is next weekend. Next weekend, we're having that Mario Kart. This weekend, we've got Smash this weekend. So that should be a lot of fun. Uh, today, we've got Splatoon 2. We got a sponsored stream. Uh, Christian's uh, continued sponsored streams for Splatoon 2. That's going to be like around like 3-something. We're going to do that till about 5. And then we have the PE podcast tonight. So plenty of streaming for today. A lot of work going down. So it should be fun. Um... I know YouTube needs to do the gifting thing. YouTube needs to do the gifting thing, which I think a lot of creators have suggested. They have tiers now, like Twitch has tiers, and I think gifting is probably next up. Probably like next year we'll get gifting on YouTube. So yeah, uh, definitely. They're, I think they're, I think they're gonna do it at some point. They're definitely gonna. It just takes YouTube a while to implement new things because it'll, it might break the site, you know. But yeah, they do have tiers, and usually when they usually when YouTube does something, they when they copy Twitch. They actually go a little bit above. So, for example, like tiers, like you can, 
it's not a set price you can put whatever you kind of want you can kind of manipulate it and stuff so uh usually they do things a little bit better so maybe they they'll do gifting and they'll even do it like a better like a better way of gifting i'm not really sure either way um it's all good rilo appreciate that my boy appreciate appreciate you being around um, all right, so let's go ahead and get into um, any more Ninja news. Uh, make sure you guys check out. We've had at least three or four videos for the past two days. Uh, we've had videos that go up like at 6 a.m. and also at 12. So make sure you guys check out the videos um, that are on the channel already. A lot of you guys ask me questions that I've already answered multiple times in videos. So feel free to make sure you check out those. Like I said, usually watch them when you're in the bathroom. That's the that's the that's the the best time to get time to watch them when you're in the bathroom. Just bam. Oh, morning. Okay, there we go. Let me knock out this 10 minute video or let me knock out half of it or whatever the case is. Or let me just, you know, click to my part wherever I want to watch. That's usually the best time, man. That's usually the best time. We're on the treadmill at the gym. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and let's get into uh, the um, let's go ahead and get into uh, the shout outs for you guys. Shout outs for today. Um, all right. So let's see here. Uh, Markel's here. He's already tagging me saying stuff. Uh, don't worry. We'll get into it, Markel. Um, let's see here. Uh, Dank meme. What's good? Dank meme. TH3. Uh, what's good? Uh, let's see here. I don't know what the hell you uh, fire fist rose, but I don't know what the hell you talk about. But good to see you here, my boy. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Charity. What's up, Charity? Jetty, what's good? Uh, yeah, Chuba won the Smash tournament that we had. Um, let's see here. Uh, Ant Ant Antua Antua. Uh, what's what's good? How's it going? Um, Atachi. He says, "Oh, that's big news. Nice. Yeah, big news, my boy. Thank you for the uh, sponsorship. I appreciate that. I think are you a resub?" Oh, no. One, yeah, I think you're a resub because it says one month. It doesn't say new member or maybe they changed that just to one month. I'm not 100% sure, but either way. Um, uh, let's see here. Kaido J, what's good? Dior Wilson. I saw Party Man here. Shout out to my boy Party Man. Frank R, what's up, my man? Good to see you here, Frank R. Shout outs. Shadow King, um, watch. you said you watch when you're cleaning at work. Thank you, Shadow King. I appreciate that. Yo, Robert, my boy, co-captain of the Viking Nation. What's good, my boy? Uh, VC, what's up? Um, uh, enjoying Oninaki, good stuff. Uh, Psycho Pie, what's up, Psycho Pie? Sean Diamond, what's up, Sean? Good to see you here, man. Um, Christian, what's up, man? Um, check Twitter. Uh, let me get through the shout outs here and let's, let's get the show going because we have to do our, uh, we have to do our stream later, uh, with Splatoon. Uh, let me, let me, let me, uh, get the show going and everything and then we'll check it in just a bit, okay? Maybe when we get into the random QA segment, um, Christian. But I, I think I already, if you're talking about like our DM, yeah, we're gonna do Splatoon by, Round three, right? Or six your time. So, so yeah, I, I got, if you're talking about that, I already got that. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. Uh, Jarmo, what's good? Um, the Rev, yo, what's up, The Rev? Good to see you here, my boy. David, what's up, man? Arash, what's good, man? Uh, we'll talk about the spicy chicken sandwich in just a bit. Uh, some dude, uh, what's up, man? How's it going? Uh, not 100% there mentally. Well, shout outs, my boy. Hopefully you feel better. Hopefully you can just kind of take your relax. Ease your mind and uh, have, let's have a good stream. Uh, let's see here. St. Lou, what's up, man? Jeff M., what's up, Jeff? Yo, shout outs to the Joker. <laughs> Joker profile picture. That looks so much sexier. Good stuff. Uh, Fairy Tiger, shout outs to the Lead Ninja Fairy Tiger, co captain of the Viking Nation. Good to see you here, my boy. Um, let's see here. Uh, Hunter, talk about Dragon Quest. Jump Mom, what's good? Uh, Five Nights and Freddy's, what's up? Gunmetal Otaku, what's good, man? Uh, TD says one week tomorrow. Bleh. TD, do you TD, do you got a switch? <laughs> Gunslinger, what's good, Gunslinger? Kofi K, what's good? Fairy Tiger, once again, what up? What up, Fairy Tiger? Um, let's see here. Thank me, thank me once again. MK Rhinoceros, is it Rhinoceros? What's good? What's good, man? Um, all right, let's see here. Nah, but TD, do 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 you got a switch, bro? I just want. I'm just asking a question. Uh, good one, <laughs> this man this man for a while was hyping up switch games didn't got don't got a switch <laughs> you got a switch now right <laughs> oh my gosh man um uh hey yo hey is it hey 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 no wabi hey no wabi um if you watch the spawn cast you'll know why sean doesn't have a pro controller till till this point um you'll know that so anyway um all right so i think that's it for uh shout outs kofi i think i got Co kofi what's up man good to see you here shout out to the leading jacofi shout out to my boy good job in the tournament the other day man yo jake miller what's good man jake miller wait dank don't got a switch nah dank don't got a switch either dude <laughs> dank don't got a switch either this man be living vicariously through us when we play switch 
Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Um, let's see here. Dank, Dank never had a switch. Nah, he ain't got one, dude. Wait, Dank. Nah, he ain't, he ain't got one. Maybe we need a new rule where only switch owners can be mods, bro. We might, we might, we might, we might need that, bro. We we might, we might need that. <laughs> we might need that. Nah, I'm just messing around. I'm just messing around. Are oh, you a resub? Okay, Atachi, I got it. I I I thought you maybe you were a resub. I thought maybe you were a resub. Shout outs though. I appreciate you, my boy. Thank you. Um, all right, so let's go and let's get into some of this uh, news. So a lot of you guys have already been talking um, about Dragon Quest XI S Definitive Edition. So let's talk about this. There was a demo that just came out. And the thing that fascinated me is people like literally like like surprised or like, so concerned about demo length. Like I don't understand where this where this infatuation with demo length comes to play like where people talk about it like oh oh like this demo length but anyway there was a big demo that uh that 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 you can play on the switch right now for dragon quest 11 s uh that can you know you can just play it and it's like 10 hours or whatever it's like five hours plus or whatever the case is and people were just like shocked and like asking questions and it's just like don't ask any questions just just nod, just download it and play. There's no need for so many questions on the length of the demo. Just download it and play. When developers do this, stop acting be, like baffled and stuff. They're they're gonna they're gonna start saying, oh okay, like this is what we like. Just make this the norm. This should be the norm. If they're gonna release a demo, it should be a well thought out demo to where you can play and to where there's not a problem. So don't make it seem as if it's some type of magical moment. This should be the norm. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't make Square Enix think that this is like a magical thing. That oh my gosh, we get this once in a lifetime. Just, that's that that should be the normal the normal thing with this, bro. The demo alone is not worth sixty dollars. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. I wouldn't go that far. But it's a, it's a good demo, man. I play. I already played the game on the PS4, so I have the game. I played it uh, to give you guys my history a little bit. I played on the PS4. Um, Played it for a bit, didn't feel like I, I knew that there was going to be the Switch version that was going to bring more content, better music. That music was cutting my ears. Uh, but uh, so I decided, you know what, I'm just going to wait for the Switch version. Excuse me. And uh, waited for the Switch version. Switch version is obviously pretty good. Uh, we've seen it. We, it's interesting to hear people talk about uh, some of the graphics and stuff like that. You know, and it's the funny thing with the comparisons. People always compare um, graphics and they compare stuff like that, but they never compare you know, obviously, like, PS4 is, like, a more stronger system than Switch, right? Like, it's just stronger, so obviously it's going to be better graphics, but they never compare, like, oh, well, if you if you mention stuff like portable mode, oh, well, you know, portability, that's not, that. well, it's, PS4 doesn't do that, so that shouldn't be something that's brought up or in comparison, but I'm like, why? You know what I'm saying? It's, PS4 is this big box that just sits there, or your PC is just this big box that just sits there, or your laptop is this big big portable device that just that you need like a power source if you want to play for more than like a couple hours or something like that you know um whereas the switch is this modular hybrid device obviously it's not going to be like a pc that costs way more or not going to be like a ps4 or whatever the case is so i always find it interesting that they'll compare everything whether it's fair or unfair with ps4 and pc to switch but then when it comes to okay well you can take it anywhere that you want oh well that oh no 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 like oh well you know they just or they start bringing up PS Vita or something like not Matthew, not my boy Matthew, but I'm just saying other people. So it's just interesting. I mean, like no duh, you know, no duh. It's gonna, you know, the visual quality is gonna look better. Just like no duh, you know, uh, Switch, you're gonna be able to play anywhere that you want, and the game runs at zero frames per second on the PS4 when you're not hooked up to a TV, you know, because <laughs> you can't see it. So I mean, no duh, you know. Uh, so. So, so yeah, um, but yeah, the game looks great. I, you know, I actually haven't tried the game portable mode. Some people said that obviously it looks blurry, but no duh. Obviously it's blurrier portable mode because there's no power source. 
since there's no power source, they have to reduce the resolution or reduce the, you know, reduce what's going on because it runs at a lower clock speed in order to save battery life. So your battery doesn't burn, so your battery doesn't drain, and also so your ex, so your switch doesn't explode. Who's ever played their switch like playing Fire Emblem Three Houses or playing uh, Zelda or playing one of these bigger games, and it feels like it's you know, the fan's about to literally bust out of the system itself right that's because it's already working really hard to play this level of quality or if you play like doom or something like that to play that level of quality of game anywhere that you want on a portable device that's going to make the system very hot you know unless you have the new switch the new switch isn't you know it does a better job of it but i mean like imagine you can't have like 1080p visual like you know uh, visual quality like a ps4 on the go you know with the current technology and not have it to be a super expensive system like the GPD win or whatever, or have it to where it's going to be, um, it's going to explode in your hands, essentially. So um, I just find that interesting. It's find it interesting. But anyway, um, overall, my thoughts on the game, because the game is literally the exact same, but with a lot of improvements, um, is that it's a much better version of Dragon Quest XI, like a much, much better version of the game. Better music, uh, better little things here and there with some of the UI and the characters. Uh, being able to see all the characters on the map, being able to knock out low-level enemies with your horse galloping, kind of busted, but still, it's nice to have, you know, in terms of low-level, being able to level up that way as well, make things a little bit quicker, um, and there's still a bunch of extra content that we don't know about, so, um, or new content that's going to be in the game, so, so awesome stuff, David, David, my boy, it's good to see you here, shoutouts, uh, Hokage mode David here in the chat, um, let's see here. Civilized Associates. Switch has a lower graphics than PS4 dock, but has much better graphics portable since the PS4 is just a blank screen. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I see these people all the time in this uh, spot waves comment section. It's pretty toxic. Uh, well, you know, obviously it spawns a tech, uh, a tech channel. So he's going to bring people that are looking for that type of thing, you know, more so than anything else. But I mean, it's just, it's just a general observation, not necessarily like wrong for doing so. I just find it funny that the comparison is always one sided. You know, and then if you bring up portability, which I want to talk about that in a separate video, if you bring up portability, that's supposed to be just written off or, oh, well, PS4 doesn't do that. So, oh, well, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, well, wait a minute, not, oh, well, since you want to make comparisons, obviously on a system that's supposedly weaker, it's not like anybody says, oh, well, if you're playing, I don't know, like back when the DS came out, people wouldn't be like, oh, well, the resolution's a lot lower. It's like, yeah, no duh, dude, it's the freaking DS compared to like, you know, I don't know, PS Vita or compared to like a, a Switch or whatever the case is, or a different game, or like even like a 3DS compared to, compared to like, you know, systems, like there was times that there was cross-gen games, right? Or it'd be on 3DS and it'd also be like on Switch if it's like an indie game. Yeah, obviously the Switch version is going to have better resolution, you know, like SteamWorld Dig or something like that. Obviously it's going to look clearer on the Switch. It's going to look clearer on the Wii U, like no duh, you know? Um, so yeah. <clears throat> So yeah, uh, Supper, I find it funny that people are actually comparing the demo length uh, when the same people complain about it being short. Yeah, man, I don't understand. That's not even like, a, that's not even like, it's just like, yo, the demo's long. Okay, the, dem the demo's supposed to be long. It's supposed to transfer. I didn't treat it as like, it's something that we need to start talking about a lot. You know, people were bringing it up as if it's like a, like a thing that's like, oh, let's talk about this a lot. It's just like, nah, it's, the game transfers over. Why wouldn't it be a good demo? Like, Oninaki's the same thing. Maybe the demo's not quite as long, but Oninaki has a nice, beefy demo where you go through the beginning, where you go to some other different places, you solve some, you, you fight bosses, and that transfers over to the main game. Like, that's how it's supposed to be, you know? Um, so, so yeah. Dragon Quest XI S looks gorgeous docked on the Switch. Nobody should be comparing that to when it comes to Dragon Quest XI S. Well, I mean, you can tell the difference. Like, for example, like, the PS4... Um, I played the PS4 version, you know, and definitely it looks clearer, but it's like the geometry and everything's pretty much intact. It just looks, um, it just looks a little bit less, like it's a little bit, like a little bit more blurry because the resolution is lower, but it looks great though. It doesn't, I mean, blurry is a bad word too. I don't think blurry is the great word, just lower resolution, which I guess technically, I guess blurry, not as sharp, you know, but it looks, it looks just fine. It looks just fine. I, and I also played it on my, um, my TV out in the living room. On my Samsung, because I have a Samsung monitor, and I played on this, and I also played it on my TV out in the living room, and it looked great. It looked looked fine, you know. But then again, like I said, I'm not, I'm not big, like I'm not a big graphics guy. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not. I mean, I can make jokes about it, but I'm not a big graphics guy at all. Like I'm more of a gameplay type of person, and I used to be a little bit more of a graphics guy, like in the sixth gen, or not sixth gen, seventh gen, seventh gen. I was definitely a little bit more of a graphics guy um, when it came down to things because you know we were discovering HD. That's the reason I think a lot of people were graphics people because we were discovering HD, 
developers were still doing certain different types of techniques. But I think that the the eighth gen, the seventh gen, I was more of a graphics guy. But the eighth gen is when I started like, wait a minute, the graphics are better, but like the gameplay didn't improve. I felt that from sixth gen to seventh gen, there were certain things that improved with gameplay, especially with shooters, you know. Um, but uh, not necessarily other things. But there was stuff that did improve. But I think that from seventh gen to eighth gen, I don't think really anything improved gameplay wise. I don't think there's anything that uh, eighth gen did that seventh gen couldn't do. I think in terms of gameplay, in terms of gameplay, I don't think there was any, there, there wasn't any new innovative gameplay uh, demonstrations or techniques shown off. There was innovative games, but there was nothing that the hardware did to innovate upon, you know, really with anything in terms of perspectives or in terms of stuff like that, you know, um, online multiplayer, you know, whereas sixth gen to seventh gen, there was definitely improvements and there was definitely things for online multiplayer that improved and made things a lot better. Um, but there was really nothing from 7th gen to 8th gen. Like, not, it was literally the same gen, and it was just better graphics. And it looks like that's what we're going to be doing again, the same gen, but just better graphics, you know. Um, so, uh, the Switch specs are, aren't the best, but I think it's a good starting point. When the tech gets better in the future hybrid, it can get 1080p 60p that uh, uh, will set the console-wise. I, I have to dis the thing about it is that I disagree. In terms of what the Switch is, it has the best specs that it could have for when it was released there was no other hybrid device on the market that had the specs that it had it literally had the best mobile chip that you can get so if you wanted to make a hybrid if you wanted to make a gaming device hybrid that was the best that you were going to get um in terms of things so i'm gonna have to and that this is the reason why i disagree because your your base of comparison is the ps4 and xbox one two set top boxes that just sit on top of your sit on top of your system you could make them look at how big they are look at how much power they take you're talking about a system that has like uses like what 12 watts i think that the specs in terms of if you include everything and what the system is the specs are actually not bad at all you're comparing it to ps4 and xbox one if you want to do that then let's compare ps4 and xbox one specs when you don't have a tv you know what i'm saying because <laughs> if that's the case let's compare the specs when you don't have a tv the specs are pretty trash you can't do anything at all the specs are horrible you know so that that's that's the thing that i'm gonna have to disagree with is that i think the specs were the best that they can get for a hybrid device what other device on the market could you play at that time that had specs like that that you can play anywhere it's a hybrid it's not a set top box it just sits there you know that's 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 the thing it, it's not that so your your comparison is against ps4 and xbox one if you want to talk about even like per watt performance compared to ps3 or compared to xbox 360 the switch specs are freaking amazing they're freaking amazing because it can output better than those systems and it operates at a way lower per watts and it can put out graphics that are better than what we saw the best of last generation uh, or seventh generation not eighth generation seventh generation so you got games that can look better can run better than uncharted 3 which that game looks phenomenal if you go back and look at it or killzone 2 for example switch can do all of that and then some and then some on top of that anywhere that you want so I have to disagree with that because you're only comparing it to set top boxes with infinite power supply sources that, you know, that, that, that just sits there and that are huge with x86 drives in there, you know. Uh, so I'm going to have to disagree with that. I mean, I'm, I'm, I understand what you're saying and I get it. And there's a lot of people that will probably disagree with you and probably write off what I'm saying. But if you're looking at per what the system is, not compared it to two devices that sit there and do nothing, I'm going to have to sit here and say the specs are actually really good um but that's just my that's just my thought process um <clears throat> let's see monster hunter stories on the 3ds had a pretty uh, meaty demo too but it wasn't as big as this okay and personally i think i think that like let's say if you compare like for example like the wii u you know if you compare the wii u specs like i think that's a more fair comparison to say oh yeah you know those specs weren't great considering when it was released like i can agree with that you know like those weren't that great it was released in 2012 you know it was that not that much stronger than the ps4 and the xbox one it sits there set top box yeah you can take the wii u gamepad but you can't take it too far away so i can understand that yeah those specs aren't that great considering when it was released and everything but if you look at the type of device that the switch is and when, and when it was released it literally had the strongest specs that they can get in terms of affordability too you know like you got to also factor that in like is it affordable you know um ps5 will be a win just by making the, and copying the last forever just like ps4 i i mean yeah and there's a, there's always going to be a set group of people that want that you know um ps4 has a lot of great exclusives but uh but a good pc blows it out of the water well it depends it depends on what you like though it just depends on what you like you know i mean i'm not as big on pc gaming so it just depends let's see here 
<clears throat> no, I said that it can it can do stuff that looks it that, that can perform better if they want to because the Switch can is stronger than the PS3 specs wise. It's stronger than the PS3. I didn't say that it has a bunch of games that look better than Uncharted 3. I said performance wise, it can do better than what that is. You know, Unchar in terms of Uncharted 3. But I would say probably if you want to talk about games that look better than Uncharted 3, it's all subjective. You know, um, but it's based on art style and stuff like that. But I think there's a number of games on Switch that look better than Uncharted 3. I think Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild looks better than Uncharted 3. Um, I think that uh, Super Mario Odyssey looks better than Uncharted 3. Um, Uncharted, those are all very segmented, not very large areas, kind of like linear type of pa path game, whereas Legend of Zelda is this wide open world and it looks beautiful. Super Mario, Super Mario Odyssey, wide open ended area, looks beautiful and runs better and a better frame rate. So personally for me, I think both of those games look better than Uncharted, but those are my, that's my opinion. That's my opinion on that. Um, <clears throat> now, I'm not comparing the Switch to anything. I'm just talking about myself. I'm good with Switch. Uh, when it gets the Switch next to upgrade, I'll be set. I'm not talking about PS4 and Xbox One. Okay. Well, then, obviously, you're saying that the specs aren't good, but the specs aren't good compared. To, I mean, you, there has to be a basis of what you're comparing it to, right? So, like I said, and I know you're a smart individual, so I'm not trying to uh, question, you know, your, uh, you know, what you know about specs and stuff like that. But, like, what's the base of comparison then? Like, is, is it just not good specs, just not that very good just in general? I mean, because if you're looking at it at the time, you're talking 2015, what was the best chip on the market? You know, Nintendo's gearing up for, you know, a 2016, potentially 2017 launch, right? And you're looking at making a hybrid device. What was the best chip on the market? Usually you put in about a year or two before then. Nintendo skipped the K1, you know, and went to the uh, the X1. So what better chip was there to do? So you're saying that the specs aren't good, but literally it was the best hybrid chip that you can get on the market at the time that they were planning for the Switch to release. So you're saying that the specs aren't good, but there wasn't a better thing to you. There was literally nothing else that they could have used outside of the Tagra X1. That was the best one on the market for when they were planning to switch. So that, that's that's all I'm saying. So, I mean, um, if you feel that, but if you feel differently, that's fine. You know, if, if you feel different, that, that's fine. Um, <clears throat> Okay, let's not turn this into an um. Hey guys, guys, let's not turn this into a um. Stop, let's stop bashing Uncharted. This isn't. Let's not turn this into an Uncharted bashing session. Like, there's no need for that. Uncharted, it's earned its praise for whatever it gets. Okay, I mean, I play Uncharted games. I've beat uh, Uncharted two. I've beat Uncharted four. Um, I mean, do I like them? I guess. Yeah, they're okay. They're okay. Um, but let's not turn this into an Uncharted bashing session. That's not. That's not. We don't need to turn it. Don't. Don't become toxic, guys. Um. We were talking about specs and all that. We were talking about Dragon Quest XI and that kind of turned into the resolution wars or graphics wars or spec wars or whatever the hell. Then that turned into, you know, um, talking about the Switch when people said certain things. So that's essentially what happened. Um, is PC portable console or like PC as in personal computer? Personal PC, personal computer, Charity. Um, personal computer. <clears throat> finger says i just don't understand why people still have a problem with graphics uh the choice is the choice is simple want better graphics than ps4 uh version well if you want better graphics i would say you want better graphics then you get the pc because like dragon quest is on pc so if you have a personal computer um pc would be the best uh, would be one of the best options too um see the thing is people always talk about graphics and specs but gotta remember these huge boxes consume a lot more power than the switch does when docked electric bills ain't it no joke yeah ever since i unplugged my ps4 my xbox one been saving a couple hundred dollars on my electric bill every single year so uh good stuff uh civilized sun says basically all i'm saying is that i'm i'm looking ahead the wii u led the, uh, led to the switch which i'm looking ahead um i love the switch i'm looking forward to the next iteration okay yeah that's that that's cool no problem there uh, i'm talking about dragon quest 11 oh okay dragon quest 11 yeah there's a pc version so if they want the best graphics they can always go for pc because PC, um, you can run the game at, I think, 1080p60. Um, and, like, better, some other type of graphics options, too, you know. But, yeah, I see what you're saying. If you talk about, like, just PS4 versus Switch, which one, you know, people, you know, are going to want. I mean, if you want graphics or whatever the case is. Yeah, the PS4 version isn't going anywhere. So, you can get that version if you want, you know. Um, um, all of my streams are on my channel. In terms of safe streams, just go to the channel and go to OJ Live, and you'll see the streams there. Uh, DJ Viper. Um, all right, so let's see here. 
Um, all right, so I think we should move on to the next topic here. I think we're 40 minutes in already on that one. Um, if you guys have any more Dragon Quest stuff, feel free. You guys can, you know, talk about Dragon Quest. That's fine. Um, we're going to talk about Popeye's Chicken Sandwich, guys. So this chicken sandwich is causing an uproar. It's causing an uproar. And every, everybody has been, has been talking about this chicken sandwich. So uh, for those who don't know, I think it was, was it Monday that I tried that chicken sandwich or was it Tuesday? I'm really One of those it. two. Uh, yo, Proxy Star 84 with the uh, with the Twitch Prime. Thank you so much, man. Welcome to the Fire Nation, my boy. I appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Uh, shout outs. Um, <clears throat> so this chicken sandwich is causing a lot of issues for a lot of people out there. They're out here saying all sorts of stuff. Sitting here saying that this chicken sandwich, people can't find it. Uh, my, my dude, Doc Trey... My dude, Doc Trey, was trying to find a chicken sandwich, you know, in his area here in California, and he couldn't find the chicken sandwich in his here in the area. He could not find the chicken sandwich, and it's causing problems for a lot of people out there because they want to eat this chicken sandwich, and they cannot find the chicken sandwich. Now, I want to ask you guys a question. Who here has had Popeye's new chicken sandwich? Um, who here has had it, um, and are you guys having shortages of chicken sandwiches in your area? Um, I've noticed that here in my area, there's no shortages of chicken sandwiches because we have a lot of Hispanic and black people here. So therefore having a shortage of chicken, of chicken of any sorts is sacrilegious and will cause major problems, maybe even a city riot if that was the case. So they make sure that there's the new Popeye's chicken sandwich and we make sure that we got a Popeye's and we've got chicken places, taco trucks, chicken places, and uh, uh and and Vallarta's every pretty much in, on every single block okay um unless you get to certain parts of the of of of, of this of the city where <laughs> where there's albertson's only baby no i'm joking <laughs> i'm joking <laughs> whole food places um but i uh, know but yeah you got to make sure that you you've, you've got that there you got to live with your chicken so that's the problem here that that's the problem that we're, some places are running into there's not enough chicken for this new Popeye's chicken sandwich, or people are going around looking for this chicken sandwich and can't find it. So what's the deal, guys? What's going on with you guys' chicken sandwiches? Are you guys able to find the chicken sandwich? Are you guys able to do it? Let's see. Um, uh, if you ride over Popeye's chicken uh, chicken sandwich, you need a damn life. Bruh, chicken, <laughs> that's because you, get, you, get, you have access to an infinite supply of chicken, TH3, because you work at freaking Raising Cane's. You got some, you got a good chicken supply line. You know what I'm saying? Like, not everybody can be like you. Not everybody works at Raising Cane's where they have great chicken to have every single day like you can. Like, you can go in there, get discounts on chicken. You can go over there, you know, eat your, your chicken sandwiches or your chicken, whatever you guys have. I, I still got to go to Raising Cane's. It's just, why the hell did they make it so far away, man? Like, goodness gracious, from my house. Anyway, um, you don't need to come to the East Coast for Popeye's chicken. Uh, Boondocks foreshadowed this. Yeah, I, 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 uh, I linked that uh, article on there about the chicken um boondocks foreshadowed a lot of things uh let's see i live in norway where we have good food places we have good food oh america has a bunch of great food places america has fantastic food places this is just fast food that we're talking about you know what i'm saying like fast food um and not like restaurant i mean we have great restaurants there are actually really good restaurants in america like super good restaurants here um really 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 good restaurants like oh my gosh there's so many great places but fast food is just part of like American culture because it's easy and it's quick. You know what I'm saying? And it's usually it's usually fairly cheap. It's not expensive. So fast food is just part of the culture. And that's the reason why a lot of us are kind of big. You know what I'm saying? But you just got to make sure. But we got gyms everywhere, though. There's no excuse to, you know what I'm saying? Because like there's gyms everywhere. There's literally like 40 gyms in like my city alone. Like literally like in one city, there's like 40 gyms. Central Valley, we're talking like maybe like hundreds upon hundreds of gyms like everywhere they're posted so it's not like it's not like you can't find a place to work out and we're talking cheap ten dollars a month you know planet fitness uh personal gyms for like five dot five ninety nine these smaller gyms so it's not like you can't find somewhere to go work out 24 hours you know 24 hour gyms so there's plenty of places to exercise and work out so um Jumpmon donated a dollar and says, are we in that one Boondocks episode? Also, can you play Crocodile uh, Cataphony? Yeah, we are, we're in the one Boondocks episode. That's 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 where we are. <laughs> I talked. I already talked about that. Yeah, we're, we're in that one. I got something in my eye. Um, yeah, we're in, we're, in, we're in that episode for sure, Jumpmon. Um, 
Thank you for the doll donation, though. I appreciate that. That is the first donation of the stream, and you are the top stream ninja with that dollar donation. Thank you so much, Jumpmon. I appreciate that. Love, respect for Jumpmon. First donation of the stream. And let's go ahead and get you... Let's get your music going, okay, man? And there is a, there is something in my eye. It is a leftover piece of Popeye's chicken. No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, crock. All right. Uh, I think it's the Smash version, right? Yeah, it's like the... All right. Yeah, there's something in my eye. I don't know what's going on here. Give me a second, guys. Sorry. My eyes are all watery now. Um, all right. Beanstalk93 with the subscription. Uh, you should you should stain sirs in... <laughs> what? What are you? What are you talking? Make my eyes water more. What are you talking about? Give me one second, guys. I don't know what's my, my eyes are tripping right now. Give me one second. I'll be right back. You guys, listen to this music. My eyes are tripping. I don't know what's going on. causing an issue. Let me clean my glasses too. What's up, Mr. Pete? <laughs> Chair Essence? Chair Essence in the house? OJ, I, OJ didn't share that chicken sandwich. I couldn't share the chicken sandwich. I couldn't share it. Uh, CH1SP, what's up, man? How's it going? I didn't share the chicken sandwich at all. Bojangles? I've heard about Bojangles. What's the best chicken place out there, guys? What's the what's the best one? Kuma, Kuma Torres? Let's go, Kuma Torres. With the $5 donation. And he says, because you eaten... Um, it on stream. I tried the Popeye chicken sandwich. It was lit. Man, LMAO. <laughs> you tried it. It was pretty good. Okay, who else tried the chicken sandwich? Was it as good as Kuma says? So, shout out to Kuma. Thank you for the $5 donation. That makes you the top stream ninja, my dude. I'll get your name up as soon as I'm done cleaning my, my glasses. I think maybe my glasses are a little foggy, too. That's why. Okay. Bojangles is trash. Bojangles is trash, but what's the best? You guys get some love, respect, and emotes to Kuma. Kuma T with the five dollars. You are the top stream ninja for today. Thank you so much for that donation. Smash Burger has the best chicken sandwiches. Smash Burger. That sounds like something that I want to go to. Smash Burger, like Super Smash Brothers Burger. I put 90 hours into Fire Emblem, three, uh, Fire Emblem because of you. Thank you, man. Shoutouts. I'm about, I'm about, I'm almost 70 hours in, so I'm getting my, I'm getting my review ready. Uh, yo, what's up, the hands of the third? Popeyes is pretty darn good. Popeyes is good. I, I not only did I buy, when I went and bought that chicken sandwich at Popeyes, I bought um, a family meal plan, 11 pieces of chicken mixed with, uh, I, you guys saw the two sides and six biscuits. Plus, I bought the chicken sandwich, dude. It took me two days. But I tore through that chicken, man. I rip off all the skin, though. But, man, it's so... Dude, Popeye's chicken is delicious. I think it's great. Uh, Chick-fil-A plus Popeye's got tier in the chicken business. I gotta go... Frank R., I gotta go check out Chick-fil-A again. Because the problem with Chick-fil-A is that it's so far away from my house. Like, it's in the center of town. And, like, I live on the outskirts of town. 
so or on the outskirts of the city so i have to drive all the way in but there's no highway leading directly into it like you got to go through all this other stuff you know what i'm saying like so it's it's stupid but i want i want to i want to get like i want to get like they need to build a chick-fil-a out here that's what they need to do and i would eat chick-fil-a a lot more if they did um yo shout outs to jeff n who straight up pulled a prizes right on kuma with the five dollars and one cents and says this is for chair essence you know what i that will go to the chair essence funds we might need a new chair essence in a little bit because this chair essence is getting a little bit old so maybe shout out to jeff n though thank you for the five dollars and one cent donation you are now the new top stream ninja you guys give some love respect and emotes to uh jeff n with the uh, with the five dollars and one cent donation i appreciate that i appreciate that jeff All right, guys, so we are going to talk about something else, but this is something that needs to stay between us and the stream. And I'm not going to mention, I'm not going to mention who, what was going on, but I watched quite possibly the most toxic, the most toxic. And once again, don't say any names, but I watched probably the, one of the most toxic debates that I've ever seen. We can talk about chicken sandwiches. We can talk about Dragon Quest. And we can talk about toxic, toxic debates because there's not really anything to talk about until Astral Chain comes out, until my Fire Emblem review is done, or until Nintendo decides they want to give us some more information on games. One of the most toxic debates that I've ever watched. Oh my gosh. And it was involving a friend of mine uh, on YouTube. One of the most worst debates ever. Oh my gosh, dude. It was so toxic. But anyway, um, if you guys have questions, comments, stuff that you want to let me know about, feel free to tag me. Questions would be good. Tag me there. We're going to be answering questions for about a good solid hour talking about stuff. I might have a stupid story or a crazy story here or there. Um, and then we've got Splatoon 2. So if you want to play Splatoon 2, make sure your game is updated, ready to go. Or you can sponsor up. <laughs> Propane Blaster Bobby! <laughs> Frank R with the Propane Blaster! <laughs> Bubba, Bubba, Frank R, who's this? Bubba, this man out here with the with the propane blaster. Frank R donated forty two dollars and says this is for the this is for the save chair essence funds, my boy. <laughs> Frank R, you can't be you can blast this with propane today. The propane blaster. Shout outs, we don't see that a lot. Unique jutsu. Shout outs to my dude Frank R, big supporter of the village. Elite Ninja, definitely sitting at the Hokage round table. You know what I'm saying? Frank R is definitely up there with the other legends of player essence, man. So thank you so much, Frank R. I appreciate your continued support. And I'm glad that you feel, you know, that that yeah, you know, that you feel strongly enough about my content to support the channel like you do, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You guys know I do I appreciate anything, but I really appreciate you, Frank. You guys give some love, respects, emotes, propane. We need we need a propane emote. That's what we need, a propane emote. Uh, give some emotes to my dude, Frank R, uh, with the $42 propane blaster donation. Um, <laughs> with the, the propane, baby. <laughs> um, I'll tell you guys the story behind behind it, behind that right after, right, right after I get this next donation. Uh, Andy, mine donated $1 and says, so I finally finished Persona 5 in Geese. It was a blast. I've also gone against my words and gotten three houses. Could you play Area of Soul Remix from Ultimate? Uh, hashtag Blue Lines. Yeah, you know what? I noticed that, Andy, mine. I was playing Fire Emblem myself last night, and I noticed that you logged on with three houses, or it was during my stream with, uh, it was something, it was either with three, it was either with when I was playing Fire Emblem Three Houses or when I was playing Dragon Quest, I saw that you logged on with Three Houses and I was like, what the hell? You said that you're not going to get it. You should have pulled a VC on us. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but thank you for the dollar. I appreciate that. And let's play some Area of Soul Remix um, from uh, Super Smash Brothers, right? Actually, I think I got that right. Wait, where's, where's it at? I thought I had it. Never mind. I don't have it. Um... But thank you, man. Thank you for the dollar donation. I appreciate that, Andy. Um, all right. Yes, propane. Yeah, we need some propane em emotes. Um, we definitely need some propane emotes. I'm promoting this for the uh, community. Uh, US eShop uh, Bastion on sale for $3. Transistor for $4. Yeah, those are actually... I think I'm probably going to pick up uh, Bastion, even though I've already beat the game. Good stuff. 
Um, let's see. At least I didn't make a dumb bet like VC, though. That's true. That's true. Um, the sexy jutsu emote. I need to have somebody actually do that for me. Because the one that I'm making isn't coming out right. Um, let's see. THD Pro Paint. Pro Paint emote comes after sexy jutsu emote. Yeah, I just got to get that done right. Um, what bet? V somebody... I forgot what it was. Something about golden lion bet or something. I'm not really sure. Uh, OJ, Popeye's spicy chicken was good, but Chick-fil-A is, is better. Okay. Okay. People in the chat. Had, okay, you talk about people in the chat. People in the chat. Um, I actually got to go uh, to a family meet. See you guys. All right, take it easy, Je Jeff. And thanks for coming up to the stream. Thank you for the donation, man. I appreciate that. It's very nice of you. Um, <clears throat> what the hell, Jeff? Why did you... You're, you went from actually having Joker as your profile picture to having a blank avatar what the hell um so what's the story behind the propane yeah no problem um, i'm a big 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 fan of king of the hill if you guys don't know maybe that's something that you guys don't know about me but i'm a huge fan of king of the hill i really like the show when i was young um or younger more like it um the show launched i remember my brother and uh my brother and my sister well not my sister so much but my brother for sure we always watched the show and um, we didn't understand it as much because we obviously didn't understand like Texas culture or even some of the stereotypes and stuff about it. But we still thought it was really funny. Um, so we would laugh and watch the show. So that's something that me and my brother watched a lot. Um, and my brother, my brother was, he's a really good artist. He actually has an art degree. And um, he would draw certain things. And like one of the things that he drew was uh, a King of the Hell missile. Like he used to draw like, like, uh, like, he used to draw, like, missiles, and he used to draw, like, airplanes and stuff like that, right? And he drew, like, a King of the Hill missile one time, and, like, we were just dying laughing because this dude literally spent this whole time drawing, like, the, the logo of King of the Hill, but it was a damn missile. Like, about to, like, blow something up, like, the propane or something like that. So, just a lot of stupid little history with this. So, when I decided to do, like, let me just incorporate something from King of the Hill because I actually really like the show. I like it a lot. It's one of my favorite shows. Um, I decided to say, okay... Here's the how, how we do it. We got to do something that relates back to King of the Hill, right? Um, and from what I understand, when the show started and Hank Hill's age, that's that's what the propane blaster is. He's 42 years old when the show first debuted at the time, based off of the lore of when he was born and when the show first started the year. He's 42, so that's the reason why it's 42. For the, <laughs> it seems like a random number, but no, it's actually not random. So yeah. Um, I guess for some people it was still Joker Then for others it wasn't Joker My bad Jeff N Go to your family meet Don't worry about it Um, Alright so I swear to god if you edited Hank Hill To have the uh, Payne's face features on the donation image I would cry of laughter I don't know if I can do that I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm good enough to do that But I think somebody else could um, I might, I can, maybe I can change it. There is definitely Hank Hill in an Akatsuki outfit, so I can definitely change it to that. My uh, in real life friend just got three houses as well. Uh, everyone now has seen the light. Now that um, that is three houses, they are. People are see the thing about it is that three houses. What makes three houses different from like some of the other really great RPGs? Like let's say Octopath, for example, or let's say uh, Persona Five, or let's say all these other ones. There's not strategy RPGs aren't like this. There's no other strategy strategy RPG on the market like Fire Emblem Three Houses. It's literally unique. I mean, obviously Persona, that's a game that there are RPGs on the market. Persona's done very well, but there are RPGs on the market that are like Persona. There are RPGs out there that are like it. There are RPGs that do similar things. Obviously, Persona does those things a lot better than most of the RPGs out there. But it's not like you're going to get an experience that isn't something that you, like, you know, that's, oh my gosh, this is crazy. Heck, even if you play the Shin Megami Tensei games, you know, then you'll, you'll kind of know what's going down. Fire Emblem Three Houses combines a lot of the stuff from Persona, like the basic aspect of school, but then it takes it to the next level. Like the school aspects in like in Persona are just kind of just there because that's the setting. Whereas Fire Emblem, the whole school thing and all that, it's like an essential part in terms of like teaching and your skills and how you level up and where you want to go to in terms of your actual character. And what makes Fire Emblem to me just so unique with that is that you combine on top of that the relationship stuff, which they've always had in Fire Emblem games before. 
Um, on top of that, the strategy RPG, which isn't a common genre. Turn-based RPGs, we see a lot. Strategy RPGs, we don't see anywhere near as much in terms of the large scale. We see large scale turn-based RPGs, right? We have like the Trials games or Trails or whatever. We have um, Persona, obviously. We have Shin Megami Tensei. We have a lot of games that are like that. Um, Pokemon's obviously turn-based RPG as well. Um, Dragon Quest XI, turn-based RPG. So we see a number of turn-based RPGs, but we don't see large-scale strategy RPGs. We see small-scale ones, or we see mid-sized ones, like, for example, like a Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Um, or if we do see something, it'll be like an XCOM. You know, that's a different style of game. But we don't see, like, you know, this style of strategy RPG. So it's not only is it unique and has gameplay elements that you haven't seen before in the franchise history and kind of taken from other games... You know, but it's done it in a bigger way than, than any other game out there. Like, if you compare Fire Emblem Three Houses to, to Mario Plus Rabbids, it's not even close. And that was, like, the previous exclusive that we had in terms of strategy RPG. We don't have XCOM. XCOM's not on the Switch, you know? So, the only the only other bigger or the biggest art strategy RPG we had was, was Mario Plus Rabbids. And, guys, like, Fire Emblem is literally, like, ten times bigger than Mario Plus Rabbids. You know what I'm saying? Like, in terms of gameplay content and, like, hours and stuff like that. I mean, Mario Plus Rabbids, I think you can beat it in about 20 hours. You can beat that game, maybe. You know? Um, and then there's DLC if you want the DLC. So, um, I would have not liked Fire Emblem Three Houses if it wasn't for Persona 5. I, I don't think I don't think that, that'd be tough for you to say. I don't... That, that doesn't even make sense. Why would you not like one game if you didn't play another game? Like, why do you have to like Persona 5 to like Fire Emblem? Like, I don't, I don't get that. That doesn't even make sense. Like, you can like, you don't need to play Persona 5 to like Fire Emblem. They're literally, they play different. <laughs> like, they don't even play the same. Like, there's some similar elements, which is only like relationship stuff. But lots of games have relationship stuff. Lots of games have stuff to where you can build relationships and bonds with people. And those can have different events that happen. Like, Persona's not the only game that does that, you know? Um, so I don't understand why you need to play fi You need to play Persona 5 to like Fire Emblem. They don't play similar. They have different type strategy combat's different like i mean obviously they're both turn-based rpgs at the end of the day you know but i don't see why you'd have to like persona 5 or play persona 5 to like fire emblem or vice versa you know um let's see i don't uh let's see here i don't mean to get too personal let's, hold up, but i never learned how to cook how about you um i know how to cook a little bit but not really um let's see is this the um is the new game plus infinite three houses or is it one and done you can keep on doing it Let's see, Fire Emblem is like 50, t 50 times better than Mario plus Rabbids. I mean, it, that that that's true. I mean, I don't know, 50, I mean, I know you're just kind of messing around, but I mean, yeah, it's definitely a lot better, that's for sure. In my opinion, at least. Not not everybody might not think that, but uh, but yeah. I, I don't know, I just don't know if you can, I, I don't know how you can say that, VC. You didn't, you didn't not play it that way. You're just saying that now after the fact. You ever heard the expression, VC, hindsight is twenty twenty. You're sitting there and saying, I would have not liked this if I didn't do this. You don't know. That didn't happen that way. You're just saying that now. You know what I'm saying? Like, how do you know that for sure that if you didn't play this game, I wouldn't have liked this game? How do you know? There's there's, there's literally no way to know that. You're just you're just saying that. Like, how do you how do you prove that? What is the, the you're saying that you wouldn't have liked it if you didn't play Persona 5? Tell me how that is the case. Like, how, why is this game affecting this game? How? Like, I don't, I don't get that. Can somebody... How, how does that even make sense? That doesn't make sense. Um, Andy Mine with the doll donation, and he says, um, um, let's see here. Uh, that, take it easy, uh, Frank. Thanks for coming out to the stream. Uh, that's uh, that's what uh, made me get into Three Houses. When I saw those Persona elements, I was I was playing uh, P5. It made me reconsider. Um, and lo and behold, I, I got it. Uh, also, I'm surprised uh, of the lack of rage with me going uh, with the Blue Lions. Pray, uh, play your fave song from Fire Emblem Three Houses. That's Fallen Winds. I just don't understand that, though. Like, why does relationship elements from one game make you say, okay, well, now I'm definitely going to like this game. The relationship elements have been around in Fire Emblem forever. If relationship elements were the reason why that you wanted to play the game, why are the hell did you not fire emblem has had relationships dating back to where before persona was even did relationships okay if you go back to like fire emblem like the book one and book two those had relationship elements those have where you can have kids they actually took it further to where you can have kids in one of the games or you can have relationships with with certain people and then generate like a generation goes by and then you start up with their kids fire emblem three houses has kids so you have relationships fire emblem uh um what was it? Fire Emblem uh, Fates has relationships. This is not anything new. I don't understand why Persona 5 all of a sudden dictates things. Persona 5 came out in 2017. All the games that I mentioned came out before Persona 5. So I, I don't understand this, 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 like, this, like, 
like whoring out to Persona 5 as if they're the ones who created relationships and games to where that that affects things. Like that that's this is ridiculous. You guys are sounding abs like super juvenile right now. Like super like I don't care about anything persona 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 did everything like you guys are acting like super super like new school like y'all were born like yesterday or something. I don't understand this logic between you guys. Like this is stuff that's been around forever. <laughs> like this has not been I, I mean this is stuff that's been around when people try to tell you guys this you guys sit here and you guys dis discredit Andy I'm hate, hate to put you two on the spot but Andy and VC when I tell you guys well there is relationship stuff there is stuff that you guys can do you guys sit there oh I already played I don't like Fire Emblem I don't like Fire Emblem y'all don't listen to what we have to say and now you say oh well now that I played Persona all of a sudden oh now I like this game if you listen to our if you stop listen to what we said first why don't you listen to what we were saying in the first place <laughs> Why are you sitting here waiting to, what? Okay, I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> we already told you all this. <laughs> we, we, we already told you all this. Cause y'all don't listen. Cause y'all don't listen. Cause you guys are stubborn. You guys are somewhat stubborn and y'all don't listen to what we're saying. So you're being hard headed. Okay, your hard headedness led to you guys having to play one game in order to like another game, which is absolutely stupid. In my opinion, that is, that is, that is absolutely ridiculous that you have to play one game to like this game. That is so dumb. That's so dumb. That, that's making it seem as if relationships were started with, oh, the only reason why I like relationships in games is because of Persona 5. What kind of bullshit is that? Like, what? That's the only reason why you like relationships in games and teaching in games is because of Persona? Why won't you just like that? As a, what if it's a good gameplay element? It was around before Persona got started. They did it before Persona. Why, why is this? Why does? Why is Persona needed in order for you to like something else? That's the dumbest thing that I've ever heard. That's that's so stupid. <laughs> like that's why do you need one thing in order to like this? We were trying to tell you what it was going to do. We were we were literally telling you that it was going to be amazing. Why not? <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> I don't understand this logic. I don't. I don't understand it. <clears throat> Fire Emblem, and I, and I said this before in a video, I said Fire Emblem Three Houses goes above and beyond what Persona does. It goes above and beyond Persona. It's not even like Persona. There's relationships, that's great, but it did it before Persona 5. Fire Emblem Awakening was before Persona 5. If Persona 5 was the game, not only that, but there was other Persona games that did relationships. Like, let's not even talk about Persona 5. Persona 4, Persona 3, those Persona games did relationships too. Fire Emblem games did relationships too. There's, there's so many games that have done that. It's... I don't understand this. Um, <laughs> I don't understand this. Anyway, let, let's let's play, let's play some music. Um. All right. There we go. Let's see here. No, it's not about rallying me up. I'm only doing it for entertainment's sake. Guys, trust me, if I wanted to be boring about it and just say, oh yeah, well, I don't think that's fun, I can do that. Like, y'all know me. I only I only I only go on rants because it's funny for the stream, not because I actually care. Um if you guys if you guys want me to stop going on rants, then I can stop. Trust me. Uh Matthew Campos with the three dollar donation and he says Fireman Three Houses went up uh, a point on Metacritic. Yeah, it's 89 now. Uh, you think it could make a critic score of 90? Also, can you play Fireman 3 Houses, Blue Skies, and, and Battle, please? Uh, yeah, I think it has a shot. Maybe it has a shot. I don't know how many more reviews it's going to get, but it has, it has a shot. Um, some of us has not played the games as long as you have. So for us, it's kind of new. I understand what you're saying, but for us, it's, it, it's this way. I understand. That's Here's the thing. That's the thing. I understand. And remember, take it as entertainment. Don't take it as I'm knocking you guys' decisions or whatever the case is. Don't take it that way. It's entertainment, guys. You guys know... Um, Andy, you're, you're dope. VC, you guys are dope. But we're just we're just talking. We're having fun here. But I'll 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 calm it down. So some people are thinking that I'm actually I'm actually being upset at you guys. I'm not. Okay. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. Y'all been playing games for a long time, right? And you guys are all in your 20s. Well, not you, Andy. You're not yet. So okay. But VC isn't 12, or VC isn't even 20. He's in his mid 20s, right? So. I just find it interesting because this is not the first time that I've heard somebody say that. If I didn't play this, I wouldn't like this. It's like gameplay elements are gameplay elements, you know? I specifically spent a lot of time breaking down what makes this game good RPG-wise.
some of y'all acting like, oh, wow, I can't believe Fire Emblem's so good. Bruh, I spent 100 videos talking about the game. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I literally made video after video after video from a seasoned, experienced player such as myself who has literally been at the genesis, the apex, the golden era of RPGs. I know what makes an RPG tick. What makes it snap? What makes it slap? You know what I'm saying? I know what that is. I'm not good at a lot of things. But one thing I am good at is knowing exactly what makes an RPG good. Which is why when I recommend certain things, or even action games, when I recommend certain things, you guys tend to go like, oh my gosh, I can't believe how good it is. The games that I've chilled to, know, to, to beyond belief are Xenoblade, right? Fire Emblem. Those are two games that I shill. Everybody that picked up those games and torn of the Golden Country. Everybody that I told to pick up those three games, all of you guys have came back to me and said, OJ, this game is amazing. Oh my gosh, this game is so good. I didn't think I would like it. The reason why y'all do that is because I know what makes these RPGs good. I can literally look at the battle system as soon as I see it and I see the mechanics, I'll be like, that's going to be super good. And once I explore it and I start dissecting things and I start making the videos that I make, I don't just talk. People think my videos are just, I just talk. No, that's not it. I'm researching this stuff. Y'all don't understand how much hours I spent looking at all of the gameplay from Xenoblade Chronicles 2, comparing it to the first game, comparing it to X, saying what I was going to say, then all the updates to Torn of the Golden Country. Same thing goes for Fire Emblem Three Houses. I analyzed every single piece of gameplay that we were getting. And I, like when they started talking about combat arts and started doing everything. And then when I got to play the game in person, I knew that was when I was like 100% saw this game is going to be phenomenal whether you have played strategy whether you like strategy rpgs or not it doesn't matter at the end of the day the gameplay is too solid there's too much of a hook the game hooks you it sinks its teeth into you and it commands you to keep playing because of the narrative because of what you do with the story story wise narrative story wise gameplay it literally gets you and eggs you on to continue playing and that's the mark of a great game same thing with xenoblade it has those hooks where it just, it just eggs you on to keep playing, keep playing, keep playing, you know? So like I said, I don't always recommend a bunch of games, like shell a bunch of games out. Like, I really don't. But the games that I do, Astral Chain, Bayonetta, I'm like literally like 10 for 10 or whatever the case is when it comes to like Switch and Wii U, when it comes to certain stuff. So I know what I'm talking about when it comes to this stuff. That's why I was, I was trying to tell you guys. And I understand some of you guys are younger. You know, you guys don't, don't play as much. But that's the reason why I made all those videos. I didn't make all those videos for you guys to just dismiss what I'm saying because you haven't played them before. I made those videos because I am more experienced and I know what I'm talking about when it comes to RPGs. I, I know what I'm talking about. And I know if you're an RPG fan, and if you're not an RPG fan, then I get it. But if you're an RPG fan, if you listen to what I'm saying and actually give me a shot, you're going to realize what I'm saying is right. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm going to have to disagree with that. Um, FGC one, two, three. Um, I don't think it felt, uh, I don't think it felt, uh, boring or felt sucked that it felt rushed at all. So, um, I'm going to have to disagree. And everybody who's played Torna says that it's pretty good. So, uh, your incessant bitching aside, I think it's okay. I think that I actually think it's pretty good. Um, considering that Torna gives you more gameplay and gives you more story and better stuff than full $60 games. I find that, I find that, I find that, uh, ridiculous. Um, but anyway. Um, all right, so let's let's go and let's move on to the next music. <clears throat> uh, let's see here, Fire Emblem. Yeah, that's a hard disagree on the ending of Torn. A hard disagree. Um, but hey, he's entitled to his opinion. All right, here we go. And I'm pretty sure FGC123, I'm pretty sure that's that's Nintendo everything. Uh, he got banned, so he just changed his name. Um, he thinks he's slick. He's think, he thinks he's slick, though, but he acts he's, he acts the same way as that other guy. He's literally, It's the same person. Um, all right. Dang, I wish uh, OJ would show more about Mother 3. Uh, Mother 3 slap. Bro, I'm not, I, need to, I need to play Mother 3 more, to be honest. Uh, what up, OJ? I grew up on um, NES and Super Nintendo RPGs and Final Fantasy and up until 7. Do you think I'll enjoy Fire Emblem 3 Houses? Um, it depends. It depends. Uh, what type of qualities do you like in a game? You know, um, I think that you'll enjoy it, um, but it's a strategy RPG. So make sure that you have at least tolerance to get, have an open mind for a strategy RPG. In a few words, what do you think is the deciding factor 
deem someone as smart as smart i think it's comprehension but my friend says it's memory i don't know question makes sense uh i would say comprehension is probably the biggest thing um if you can't comprehend information then you're going to be in trouble in life just in general so comprehension and execution so how fast can you comprehend something or can you comprehend something at all and then what do you do about that so comprehending then reacting accordingly there's a lot of stupid asses stupid ass people on youtube excuse my french uh, that are really dumb and that sit there and say things and call people names and do certain stuff and like i said the talk to debates because they can't comprehend information at a high level um or they can't comprehend information really at all so stuff that they that they take in their brain says barely gives it any time to process it and they already spit out a response quick usually fast so speed in terms of how fast you comprehend something or how fast you respond that's a false sense of um you know of being intelligent or whatever the case is i always think that comprehending something is a lot more important than the speed of how you do it you know because a lot of times speed involves errors there's a lot of stupid people on youtube or people that content creators or just people that just you know comprehend things completely wrong um and spit out responses that are just dumb and i'm like well that's that's your problem is that you can't comprehend anything you know um Let's see here. Uh, Joel White, Ace King suited, AK, and Dodizilla TR. Thank you for the uh, follows, guys. Appreciate that. <clears throat> the playful rants are awesome. Um, I went through your backlog of game reviews, and I'm yet to find one that you've recommended, but I haven't agreed with you. Yeah, yeah. I don't review many games, but when I do, I'm pretty spot on with my reviews. So, um, let's see uh, how um, how you RPG essence, but you may be skipping Oni Oninaki. I'm not gonna skip it completely. I'm just I just don't have the time right now to get into it. Um, if you like strategy RPGs like Shining Force, this is actually a good game. It's way more uh, strategy RPG, just my opinion. I like Shining Force. Shining Force is great. Um, <laughs> um, I actually think Reraise is highly intelligent. My problem, my, I think the only issue is that sometimes he he overthinks things. I think that's the biggest thing with him because he's actually, I think he's actually a very intelligent and he's a highly talented um, content creator. Rerez hates me, um, but I I don't think Rerez is dumb at all. I think Rerez is a very intelligent person, um, and I think that his editing is god tier, like Philip, you know, maybe even a notch above Philip. From what I understand, Rerez does uh, Canadian TV. Uh, he has like a show on there or produces a series on there. I've watched his videos. Very well done. Very good editing skills. Uh, I think he's in, I think he's very intelligent. He's just when it comes to Nintendo, he doesn't know what he's talking about. You know, that's that's really that's really it. Um, I was expecting to see the ending of, of Golden Turtle, but they skipped through the whole um, ending, and we was waiting for. Who's we? You? You had some preconceived notion of how you thought it was supposed to be ended. Like I said, hard to disagree. Move on. FGC, move on. Um, let's see here. Uh, some dude says people that tend to sp spit out stuff super fast also tend to think that they're above everyone else, tend not to be open to other opinions. Yeah, in which I've gotten that, you know, I've gotten that thrown at me too, which at times I think I can also sometimes be a little bit harsh towards uh, certain opinions, just like maybe some people might be thinking with F FGC. But the only reason why I'm being like that is because he's... He's somebody, he's actually Nintendo everything because he talks exactly like him. He just uses, he's just using an alt account. Um, not Nintendo everything, the website. It's Nintendo everything, you know. He spelled it out that way to kind of troll. Then he got banned. Um, but yeah, it's the same guy. <clears throat> um, see, you the uh, DOS double X, a man of gaming, OJ. Um, I don't review games, but when I do, <laughs> I don't always review games, but when I do. <laughs> um, did you already uh, tell us about the toxic debate? I did talk about that a little bit, Wolf Ever. I, I was watching it last night. It was a talk. It was a very toxic debate, man. I'm not going to say who it was or what it was, but I'll just say that the person that was debating that was doing all of the aggression was a very low intelligence person. Very, very low intelligence you don't have to go to college to be intelligent, and I think that many, 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 many people have very high IQs and don't go to college or are very intelligent and don't apply themselves. But I think in this situation, this is the type of person that probably struggled throughout life. You know what I'm saying? Struggled with probably had family problems um, and struggled throughout life, which has caused the vendetta against people. So when he disagrees or when he hears something that he doesn't want to see, he goes ad hominem all over the place. He'll attack them. Um, he'll attack them personally. He'll attack them in terms of, uh, you know, call them names uh, when it comes down to it because he doesn't agree with their opinion or his brain can't assess that not everybody 
does things the way that he sees the way the gaming industry is supposed to be. So therefore, he will attack them with ad hominem and call them names in order to try to prove his point. And that usually is a sign of low intelligence. That's usually one of the big, like in terms in terms of YouTube channels that attack somebody or call people names purposefully for with because they don't see eye to eye on an opinion, which there are a number of YouTube channels that do that. That's usually associated with low intelligence, by the way, because they don't comprehend things and they can't comprehend in terms of what someone's saying, putting it into perspective. They kind of see things in their way and therefore I'm going to go after this person. So that's that's a one way to comprehend, going back to Charity's point, comprehending intelligence is people like that. Um, they might act like they're intelligent. They might put the appearance that they're intelligent. But at the end of the day, if you're calling people names and you're you know doing stuff like that and you're doing it for free, so there's not even really any monetization really involved with it because your channel's so bad or whatever the case is, or you're not making, you're not even making anything off of it. You're doing it just because you feel like it, because it gives you some sense of um, feeling superior or feeling better. Then, to me, that's a very low intelligence person because you're literally doing this for free. You know, you're wasting your time for free um, when you could be doing something productive. Um, is the debate worth watching? Dude, it is horrible. It is absolutely horrible. It is a horrible debate. Um, the MCU Spider-Man is just like the Telltale Batman now. The story will never get uh, some kind of resolution. No? Well, you never know. Maybe they'll maybe they'll finish something. Who knows? Maybe they'll get a new deal. Social and emotional intelligence is more important than IQ anyway. More and more studies are confirming this. Yeah, I mean, I think being socially aware, um, IQ only gives... IQ is essentially your potential. You know what I'm saying? Usually how fast you can process and your potential. If you don't actually go through with it and you don't take the time, I mean, then you can look just like an average bum. You know what I'm saying? You can, you, you can look like somebody. There's lots of people who have high, high IQ, very intelligent people, but ended up being losers, being murderers, being weirdos, being people that the society would see as dumb, but they're not, you know? Um, so IQ is just one thing. Social skills, doing um, comprehension, stuff like that isn't always associated um, 100% with, uh, with with IQ and things like that. Comprehending other things, not just, you know, book, book work. Uh, definitely a toxic trait. Uh, people need to learn to take an L with grace and not belittle others because they don't agree because they are proven wrong. IQ is just an, an estimate, to be honest. Yeah, it's just an estimate. Just an estimate. Um, I can't find the debate uh, thread on uh, Twitter. Uh, I didn't delete it or anything, so it's still on my Twitter if you want to find it. Um, yeah, we're, we're in, we're in Q&A. If you guys have questions, I've got answers for you guys. We're in Q&A. But yeah, that, I can't say who it is because out of respect for the, out of respect for, you know, you know, out of respect for the person, I can't say who it is. But yeah, man, it was, it was, uh, man, it was bad, dude. It was really bad. Um, let's see here. Game of the year. Oasis Beyond says game of the year on Switch. Game of the year on Switch. Right now, that's looking like Fire Emblem Three Houses. That's the front runner for me. But we have to see how Astral Chain turns out. That could be game of the year right there. But right now, the front runner is definitely, um, definitely uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Let's see here. FGC goes ghosted after that. Ghosted after what? <laughs> I like I said. He talks. He, he's Nintendo. Everything. He's 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 the same guy. Um, make sure to uh oh yeah, make sure to tag me with Sony and Disney deal with uh, Sony and Disney deal with Spider Man collapsing. Uh, you don't uh you don't have a dog in this fight, do you, OJ? Nah, I don't have a dog in this fight because I don't go. Out, I don't shell out to movie studios. Like I'm not. I'm not. Movies aren't as important to me as other people you know people love movies and movies are great um and i and, you know i like movies too but movies aren't that important to me like if spider-man movies aren't ever made again then oh well spider-man movies aren't ever made i'm not the person that rushes out and sees you know infinity war day one i don't care about movies enough to do that do i like movies sure movies are great um you know but like let me know like if there's ever a time that forensic files is gonna stop 
or they stop producing. Let's say nobody can ever produce forensics, forensics shows and things like that. Then that's when I get upset. You know, the day that forensic files stops is that's the day that I get upset um, <laughs> that I can't watch that. Um, so, but yeah, I'm not as big of a fan of movies. I'm just not, I mean, as somebody who lives, you know, I've seen Hollywood, you know, I live near LA, like I've seen the way that some of these, uh, some of these people act, some of these movie stars and some of these directors and just the fever around them. Like I, I, I've soured on movies because of the people behind them. I mean, we saw like the whole me too movement and we've seen how like sleazy some of these directors are. We've seen how some of these actors are like, these people don't, they don't, these people don't care about us. Why, why should I care so much about, I mean, I know they produce, you know, they produce movies and it's entertainment and then people like it, but I just, I just don't understand why I should put so much stock into them and give them, you know, like, what are they, what are they doing for me? They're not really doing much. I mean, a movie's a movie. I watch the movie, then it's done. You know, like, it's not enough for me to sit there and like get all googly and crazy over movies. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I'd rather put my energy and attention into something else. So I think FGC is trying to annoy you at this point. He's doing a very bad job of it. That's for sure. Um, <clears throat> let's talk about a serious talk. But no, not the chicken sandwich, but the Amazon rainforest. Not the Yeah, I'm not going to bring up the Amazon rainforest because there's nothing really anybody can do. So there's nothing for me to say on it, man. But hopefully, hopefully things can get resolved, you know. Um, all right. So keep the questions coming, guys, if you guys got them. Same with video games. With video games? What do you mean by same with video games? Like what? I don't really go crazy over developers or anything like that. I mean, like, I respect them for what they do. I think video games play a bigger part because the difference between video games and the difference between movies is that video games has actually offered me a career. You know, it could offer me career opportunities. It's offered me, like, what I do now. So I'm more... I'm more thankful to the developers and publishers, but movies don't offer me anything. It's entertainment, but that's about it. Gaming offers me entertainment, and it also offers me a career. It offers me an opportunity to have a community, to have social interaction with all of you guys, to have fun times for us to, you know, wash away our stresses or whatever the case is. Like, we can't all sit together, chill, and play, watch, watch a movie. I mean, we could, but we can't really, because if YouTube saw us streaming it or whatever the case is, like, I don't even know how that would work, you know? So that's not going to work you know, doing something like that. Um, whereas we can all come together and play games. It's a, it's a completely different form of entertainment and, and media. So to me, gaming is just far more important than movies because movies don't do anything for me. As It doesn't do as much as gaming, you know? Oh, Wario ain't got nipples. Yeah, Wario ain't got nipples. Uh, I read the full comment. I saw, I, saw the, I saw the whole thing, but yeah, Wario don't got nipples. That's not good, I guess. Um, <clears throat> PE movie night. Yeah, not not yeah, not happening anytime soon. At least. Um, but yeah, no no nipples for Wario. Yeah, it's the Olympic Games. I think it's like when he goes swimming or something. Uh, shout out to Proxy Star eighty four with the follow. Thank you so much, man. Welcome to the Fire Nation, my boy. Where would you place Dragon Quest XI on your favorite RPG list? I got to beat it first or get close to beating it. Matthew Campos says, is there an, any RPG that's highly rated by critics that you think is overrated? Uh, highly rated by critics but that, that I think is overrated. RPG? Um, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. I mean, some people would probably say like Final Fantasy VII or something like that. But um, no, it's not anything that I can think of right off the top of my head, at least in terms of recent games. Nah, not, not anything that I can think of. Uh, there's a bunch of other games, like, if you want to talk about, like, you know, shooters and stuff. But, um, uh, no, nothing that I can think of when it comes to that. <clears throat> hey, OJ, uh, can you rank who is the best to worst between Flair, Stone Cold, and The Rock? Best to worst? Uh, best for me, at least my favorite, is uh, I always like Stone Cold and The Rock pretty much even. So they're tied for first, Stone Cold and The Rock, and then I'd say Flair right after that. Um, let's see here. Some dude says, honestly, uh, I'm pretty sure games are also better since they interactive, but yeah, I've lost interest in the movie industry. If it's on Netflix, cool. But if I'm not a rush to go watch the day one, yeah, that's the same as me. Like, I don't, I just don't like like movie actors. If you've seen them, like, like I said, there's been parts of Los Angeles, you know, UCLA, you know, that I've been around, 
and I understand the way I understand why movie actors act the way they act. I understand why, you know, they, they need to, it, it, I mean, not need, but they, they do, but they, they, there's just, Hollywood is just sleazy. You know what I'm saying? Like Los Angeles, certain parts, like there's, it's just sleazy. There can be 5 billion homeless people in the street. You know what I'm saying? They're only worried about themselves when they have the opportunity to do something bigger and better. Um, and they don't, they just sit there and leave it. So I'm just not, I'm just not a fan. I'm just not a fan of, I don't really feel like giving them any money. I'll be honest. Um, although Netflix gives them money, but I don't even pay for Netflix to be honest, man. I, the, one of the girls I was dating last year, she, she put it on there and she hasn't taken it off yet. So it's still there. Um, <clears throat> So I, I, I sometimes point out some flaws of your favorite Nintendo games because you fanboy out on some of them. Because you fanboy out on some of them. That's how I read that comment. All right. Listen, listen up, man. Listen up here. FGC123. I don't give a damn about your flaws on my favorite games. Seriously. Since you want to sit here and talk. Before, before, don't ban him yet. Don't ban him yet. Since you want to sit here and talk about flaws. You want to sit here and you want to talk about this and that. Nobody gives a damn about what you think. Since you want to get my attention, you want to tag me, I'm going to give you some attention, buddy. I don't give a shit about what you think. I will fanboy whatever the hell I want 24-7 on my stream and you will sit there and watch no matter how many times you get banned no matter how many times i i time you out you will come back because you're hooked okay so sit down shut up nobody cares about your opinion on my favorite games your flaws aren't fact it's your opinion that i don't care about see like if this was if this was me like the highest amount of me comparing about your opinion this is this is where I am, okay? This is the high amount, okay? And this is where I am. I'm all the way down here. It's there's a big gap of me even thinking about compare like even like caring. I, me, OJ, do not care about what you think. You watch me because you want clout. You want, you have to watch what I'm saying. Nobody cares about what you think. You get banned and then you come back butthurt over video games. You point out flaws. What flaws? What you say isn't fact. This will be the last time that I address you. The last time. Last time. Nobody cares what you think. I don't care what you think. Okay? You good, homie? You ready to just sit down and watch? I don't care what you think. I'll never care what you think. Ever. 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 Never. I don't care. I care what VC thinks. I care what Party Man thinks. I care what Charity, Chuba, and all the real, uh, all, all the real people here think. But you? I don't care. So if they disagree with me on something, I take their opinion seriously and I value it. Because they're cool. But you? I don't care what you think, whether you disagree with me or not. VC said things that where he disagrees with me on certain games. I still care and value what he says. You, I don't care what you think. You aren't important and you will never be important in this stream. We good? We done? Good. All right. So moving on. Um, so we take a look at the post, uh, post now. What's going on? What post? <clears throat> Best Xenoblade game. My favorite Xenoblade game is actually I gotta say this. My favorite Xeno, my favorite Xenoblade game is Xenoblade Chronicles 2: Torn of the Golden Country. But Xenoblade One is better than Xenoblade Two. <clears throat> Check your Twitter. What's going on on your Twitter? Can you tell me what it is?
Let's see here. Just uh, just gave me some chills. Uh, check your Twitter. Okay, let me check it again. Christian. All right, what we got? Oh, your PC? Oh, okay. Cool, let me check it out. Um, check out Christian's new PC. Dang, that looks strong, bro. Nice. Shout outs, man. What are you gonna play on? What are you gonna play on it? Uh, Xenoblade One is a masterpiece. Gosh, the future sight mechanic made the combat so unique. It's pretty good. Um, pretty good. PhD plays maybe watching. Yeah, he may be watching exactly. Exactly. <clears throat> About to buy the uh, Elder Scrolls. Okay. I do got a spaceship. <laughs> Shout out to Jake Miller with a $5 donation and says, I would pour one out for the, the haters, but... Uh, I like my whiskey too much. By the way, Pokemon is just the best RPG series. <laughs> just kidding. Hey, if you think it's the best RPG series, that's cool. You know what I find stupid? When somebody comes to a stream to sit there and poke at people's favorite games or what they talk about. When I point out flaws, and why the hell do you... Is that what people do these days? I've never went to a single stream in my life. Went to somebody else's stream that loves Grand Theft Auto. You guys know I hate Grand Theft Auto. And by the way, I've watched role players. I've watched Grand Theft Auto. I never go there and sit there and start poking out why I don't like th their favorite game that they're playing. I have never went to somebody who plays Rainbow Six Siege or who likes Ubisoft games. By the way, I watch Ubisoft games. Just so I'm informed about what they offer and all that. That plays Siege or that plays the crew or plays all this trash that i don't like i never go there and say oh oh i don't like this mechanic with uh, that i i you fanboy out this game i'm poking my flaws and who the hell like why do you want to do that is that something that you find fun to do you must have no life if you think going to a stream about a somebody who simply loves rpgs and loves games and you're sitting there literally just to go there to say something you've got to have no life and this is what i'm talking about low intelligence sometimes this is what i'm talking about you're wasting your time Sitting there complaining about somebody with a 50,000 view or 50,000 50, subscribers, you know what I'm saying? Like about their games that they play. Like, who cares? Nobody, why should I care about what you poking flaws? What flaws? Flaws aren't facts, it's your opinion. Nobody gives a damn about who you are or your opinion. You know what I'm saying? Like, what do you do here? You do nothing. You do absolutely nothing here. But thank you, Jake Miller. Thank you for the $5 donation, man. I appreciate that. Um, what do you, what, what, what do you do? That's nothing. Just we've already. Th this is Nintendo everything. So we're going to go ahead and we're just gonna hit him with the. Where's this guy at? Just go ahead and hit him with the ban. He'll come back later with the with a different account. Just hit him with the. He he also uh, was on Twitter too. Um, on Twitter he also I I also blocked him on Twitter. But he's gotta come back here. He's attracted to me. He's gotta come back. <clears throat> He's, he'll just come back with a different account. So, um, what did David say? Involuntary celibates do that. I just don't, I never understand that logic between some people. That's fine. If you want to point out what something, something that you don't like, which is fine. VC does it. That's fine. You know, we'll sit there. We'll make entertainment for you guys. We'll argue back and forth. But it's whatever. But I respect his opinion. I respect what he has to say. He'll say what he has to say to me. We'll say back. But that's because we've already built that sense of trust between us within the community um, when it comes down to certain things. There's things that I've disagreed with when it comes to Party Man and COD. Party Man comes here. He knows that I don't like COD. He knows that I'll sit there and I'll poke fun at it or I'll say certain things. And I'm pretty sure there's other things that he disagrees with. But there's a difference between people who actually come here and that are actually fans and people that are coming here just to complain or whine. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't. I've never understood that thought process. I never go to anybody's stream. That's something that nobody should be doing. You should never be going to a stream and poke and like making comments and being angry about somebody that you know likes certain types of games. Not talking about like, let's say we're having an open discussion about certain stuff, but like literally going out there, going out of your way to go to somebody's stream 
you know they like certain stuff to sit there and complain about that. That it's not like bad stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like I never do that. And like I said, I don't like I don't like Call of Duty. I don't like Grand Theft Auto. I don't like a lot of stuff. But that doesn't mean I don't like a lot of different genres and a lot of certain things. But I don't go out of my way to do stuff like that. You know? Um, shout outs to Kristen Kudani with the ten dollar almost Toby Buster. Let's go. And he says, forget about him. We are. We banned him. Uh, you should worry more about my bubbles in Splatoon. Get ready. Respect the village. Yeah, shout outs. Respect the village. We're going to play some Splatoon in about uh, 10 to 15 minutes. About 15 minutes. We're going to have more questions. Then we'll get right to a Splatoon. So that should be fun. Um, thank you so much, Christian. Shout outs. And yeah, we are going to forget about him until he comes back. Because, you know, he's just going to come back with a different account. Because he's hooked. He's got to watch. He's got to watch. You know what I'm saying? He's got to watch. Um... And like I said, you guys can disagree. You guys can. You guys don't have to have the same opinion as me. But the problem that I, the, the the only issue, the only issue that I have with him is that he literally just comes here just to troll. Like that's that's the only thing that he literally comes here for, just just to try to troll, you know, whatever the case is. And like like I said, he's the same person. Like if you get banned and then you come back on a different account, don't act like you're some like don't try to act like you're somebody else. You know, like he also does the same thing on Twitter. Like for example. I talked about like here's the one thing that i said like that guy did and this is the reason why another reason why because he's annoying you know what i'm saying like i was like oh man fire him in three houses you know i said something about fire him in three houses like i'm enjoying the game dude goes to the comments goes to me on twitter and says uh resident evil 2 remakes it's not it's winning game of the year this ain't winning game of the year and he was doing that like constantly on any post that i made not even like talking about it he'd go resident evil 2 wins game of the year it's not you know blah 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 it's not winning game of the year i'm just like dude go get a life what are you what are you doing so i banned him on there and I know it's, it's the same guy because he's just he he has the same mannerisms, you know. <clears throat> um, let's see here. He, let's see here. Hey, I sneak dropped the donation earlier. Did you? Um, oh yeah, you did. Shout outs. It was in between two of them. I think I was ranting. Uh, with this whole debate uh, on MIDI and Dragon Quest XI, um, I do find it funny that the composer is such a prick. He doesn't even try to use high quality MIDI. Um, and for a song with high quality MIDI, Final Boss from Sonic Colors. Okay. So is that, I mean, he doesn't even use high quality MIDI. Okay. Excuse me. Yeah, like he'd be like spam, he'd, like, he'd be like spamming my, like if you're not here to have actual good conversations and you're just here to dispute everything that I say, it's like, okay, then you can just like take off. It's like, okay, just get banned. Go make a video, go cry, go complain, go do something else with your time. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a, I, I like content creators too. Like people think that I don't watch other people. I watch other people too. I'm, Whenever I say anything, it's in support of whatever they're doing. You know, if I like that content creator, I'm going to be supportive of that content creator. I'm not watching somebody that I don't like on purpose. And if I am, I'm staying silent. There's nothing for me to say, you know, unless I'm going to say something like on Twitter or something like that, you know, but there's nothing for me to say. Like, unless I'm going to like make a point like Alinity, you know, or if I'm making a video, that's business. But like, I'm going to like say, oh, yo, Alinity throws a cat over her head and doesn't get banned on Twitch. Twitch is messing up here. You know, I'm going to make a point. You know, but it's, I'm not going to sit there. I'm not going to Alinity streams and trolling her saying that, hey, cat, hey, crazy cat lady throwing cats over your head. Hey, crazy lady who who freaking illegally uh, gets with Canadians to get their citizenship and dumps them, you know, that and then divorces them. Like, I'm not sitting there to go troll Alinity during her damn streams, you know. <laughs> this man says, please ban me. Bruh. Says, please ban me. And he got banned. Um, he said he did ask to be banned. He did. Um, what's worse is what he did was compared to the others. Uh, I heard bad stuff when peeps take things seriously. Yeah, he's, some people are too crazy. But, I mean, there is a guy that's actually crazier. He's actually not the worst. That that uh, debate that I was talking about, that guy's the absolute worst. That guy's the absolute worst, you know? So, <laughs> Jerry, Jerry. Charity <laughs> probably fetishizes black men. Probably. <laughs> oh man. Oh well. Let's see, bro. That that's just pathetic. Uh, man watching a stream just to debate over someone's opinions without having any valid input or reasoning on the matter. You can hate something, but just at least back it up. I mean. But what's the point? If somebody really like, I don't even see what the point is. Like, if you're not actually like, what you're saying is true. But like, when I'm watching a stream and somebody's talking about gaming and stuff like that, even if I disagree, you know, it's there's a certain level. I guess this is because I'm a, I'm more of an entertainer. But there's a certain level of like, 
a coat that I put over of like, this isn't serious. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I think that that's something that you guys should definitely take into consideration when you guys watch the streams. Like, for example, that whole thing where I just like made a whole rant on this guy, you know, said I don't get like this and like, I'm talking about like, like, you know, doing all that. That's just for entertainment purposes. It's not like I hate the guy or I want to hurt him or anything like, or he's like the worst person in the world or whatever the case is. It's not that just it's entertainment. So, you know, make sure that you guys have a layer of, you know, yo guys, this is a, it's not, this is just gaming. It's not. It's not that big of a deal. So when I rant or when I do stuff, it's literally for entertainment purposes. Like literally 90, 95% of it is. Because it, it's funny. Um, it's funny and it's fun. And it's it's just something that happens. It happens naturally. So why not? You know? Um, you, think P, you think P5? Oh, snap. Yo, Christian again with another almost Toby Blaster. Let's go, Christian. Says ten dollars. Says next time, just give him an um, instant ban. He doesn't deserve all the attention you gave him. Uh, we then just got your back. I would prefer to get uh, destroyed by Party Man than listening to him. <laughs> Rather than so to get get bought by Party Man in Splatoon two than listening to him. Yeah, man. I mean, I try to give people benefit of the doubt. I think that's one thing that's been I've been criticized before in the past by uh, banning people too quick. You know, not giving people like banning people with different opinions. You know, um, stuff like that. So I definitely don't want to fall back into that category, which people still think I'd still do that. You know, they'll, you know, I, I, heck, that was a big, big, big problem, you know, that we had with Player Essence back in the day, you know, on the website and stuff like that, being banned for simply saying something that you disagree, that I disagree with or stuff like that. So I don't, I definitely don't want that to be coming back, like not give people a chance, you know. Um, but like I said, continued, repeated, you know, repeated stuff to where you come here continuously saying the same things, doing the same things. You know, uh, trolling and like you know, stalking on Twitter, things like that. That's that's basically what led to the ban. Not because he said what he said. It's because if you compile it with, you know, me realizing who that person was, compile it with the stuff on Twitter. If you take everything into consideration, that's the reason why he got banned. But I addressed him first, and then he continued. Heck, I told I told everybody. I said, don't ban him. You know, don't ban him yet. And then even after when I was talking, I did my little rant. Obviously, he's gonna get pissed because I'm sitting there saying that he doesn't matter. Um, and then he, you know, he said something. Then he got banned. So. Um, I was trying to give him the benefit of the doubt, but I mean, if, if people want to come here and sit there and just disagree with everything that I got to say, that's fine, you know, and you can, you can do that, you know, but I mean, at the same time, like I said, if you start stalking me on like my Twitter and stuff like that, and that's when it's like, okay, like, <laughs> you know, like it's going a little bit too far, you know, <clears throat> thoughts on the Avengers uh, game gameplay. It looks kind of boring, but it might be good. For sure, I don't take a lot of stuff to the heart. I'm all for that free entertainment. Yeah, exactly. Don't take it to heart. Unless I say, yo, take it to heart. But then again, I might not necessarily mean it when I say that. So literally take this as entertainment. Take it as just straight up entertainment. Unless I'm doing like a PE news video or something, you can take those for real. You know what I'm saying? Because like I'm not really trying to crack jokes and stuff like that in those. Or I mean, sometimes I do, but not really. You know, but take those because it's information. But like if you're talking about like me just talking to you guys for two hours plus, I mean, obviously we got to have stuff to talk about, right? It'd be boring if I'm just sitting here saying, here, here's the news. Okay, look at this. It's just, it, like it just be, it just be boring if I'm sitting here and not having any types of ranges of emotions from angry to happy to oh man, like what's this to confused on certain stuff. There's got to be a range of emotions. Like it's got to be, y'all got to understand, man. This is this is the this is the the Etika school of entertainment. Y'all got to understand this. You know what I'm saying? Like I learned a lot of the streams. How I do my streams is how Etika did his streams. Twenty. 2015 2014 2015 2016 not before he got kind of like a little bit too much but you know like in that time in that range like he wasn't necessarily mad at anybody but he would kind of go off on do certain things he would hype about certain things he'd hype up games he wasn't necessarily negative he'd hype up games so yeah you can have flaws with games you can say things but that's not the focus the focus was to have fun the focus was to you know what I'm saying? Was to talk about games in a positive light. Was to talk about what you like. You know, talk about Nintendo. Whatever the case is. You can mention negative things. That's fine. But that's not the focus. The focus isn't for people to come here and complain about games that we like. That's not the focus of the stream. You know? So, so yeah. <clears throat> um. So, yeah. Yo. Jake, wait a minute. Jake Miller, weren't you already an elite ninja? Weren't you already one? Let's go. Thank you so much, Jake. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. But thank you, Christian. I appreciate another $10 donation. Thank you, Jake. Also, thank uh, thank you, uh, 
uh, Hojack as well with the Twitch follow. Appreciate that. But thank you so much. Welcome, Jake Miller, to the Elite Ninja Village. I'm... Was I up? Oh, you upgraded your membership. Okay, sh it doesn't tell me. It doesn't tell me what you did, dude. It just, it just brings it. It just YouTube still is not there. So you upgraded it, Jake. Did you upgrade to tier two or tier three? Because you got some extra rewards with that. So which one was it that you upgraded to? Let me know in the chat so I can give you a proper uh, shout out. And there's no way for me to actually have the notification pop up because YouTube hasn't encoded it in. For notifications for tier twos or tier threes uh shout outs man thank you so much jake i appreciate that you guys give some love respect emotes um to jake for a tier two tier two subscription on the channel i appreciate that um the new benefits and extra rewards and stuff like that you can always talk to me on twitter we can discuss that uh but shout outs man thank you so much i do appreciate that thank you thank you um, yeah, like I wish they actually that, that's the problem with YouTube is that they don't they don't like even like they don't give you like a different badge or something like that. You know, like I wish I can actually make it to where tier twos and tier threes get like different badges and all that. It's just it's just done by time. But uh, eventually we'll have all that here on YouTube as well eventually. But thank you, man. Thank you for the tier two, man. I appreciate that. Um, thank you. Um, let's see. I also made a Twitter so I can get in touch. Though. Yeah, exactly. Hey, if you're an elite ninja. Make sure you guys have a Twitter account so you can get into touch with me because I don't mind Elite Ninja. Y'all can DM me and all that stuff like that. It's when people aren't Elite Ninja. When they try to be DMing me, sliding into my DMs when you're not an Elite Ninja or when you're not a mod. Nah, bro. <laughs> Y'all need to stay out of my DMs. <laughs> Yo, shout outs to Joe as well. I think Joe also, I think it upgraded tier Joe to tier two. Okay, shout outs, Joe. Thank you so much. I think it's a tier two for Joe. Thank you so much, Joe. Appreciate that. Thank you for the tier two. Thank you so much, Joe. If it's not a tier two or a tier three, one of those two, thank you. Appreciate that. Let me know in the chat. Shout out to my boy. Um, we got about 10 more minutes of questions, guys, then we're going to get into Splatoon. Um, I've spent, I think, a little bit, maybe too much time ranting on silliness. So if you guys have questions for this last 10, 15 minutes, let's get some questions going. We're going to play Splatoon 2 before the PE podcast. But remember, guys, when we play Splatoon 2, you guys are more than welcome to stick around and also ask me questions. I'll answer questions in between matches and also I'll just answer in general. If you want to play, feel free to uh, Elite Ninja up and you can get in on some matches today. So thank you guys for the support today. I appreciate it. Thank you for the tier twos and the upgrades, though, guys, too. I appreciate that as well. Um... <laughs> if you think OJ is attacking you, your ego is too big because you are you aren't that special. Yeah, exactly. It's not it's not an attack on anybody for real. To be honest, it's not it's not that it's not that important. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's entertainment. Um, it'd be boring if I just if we moved on just quickly in a talking show. Like when we do like when I play when I stream games, sometimes people just get banned quickly. I'll just ban them real quick if it's not like if I'm playing a game or if I don't want to focus on it. But on a talking show. Might as well make some entertainment if, you, if you're here going to troll before you get banned. Might as well just make some entertainment out of you. Why not? Uh, it says, remember arms. I do remember arms. Good game. Um, I may be done upgrading for a minute because um, I have a student type of family I built. Bro, the fact that you're even supporting at all, man. Uh, you don't have to upgrade, by the way. You don't have to support me at all. I appreciate the support, but you don't have to, man. I, I, I appreciate anything. You were fine with your tier one. So thank you so much, man. And I, I hey, look. Family. Bills, student debt, bruh, sign me, <laughs> put my name's on the list. <laughs> my name is f cemented firmly on that list, firmly on that list. So, so yeah, man. Uh, yo, shout outs though, Joe. Thank you so much. Uh, OJ attacked me in Mario Kart. <laughs> yeah, I know, dude. Um, <clears throat> yo, shout outs, TH3. Welcome back, TH3. TH3 coming back to the Elite Ninja Village. Let's go. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Or was that an upgrade, TH3? No, that was an upgrade because it's not, nothing's popping up. So that was an upgrade. TH, TH3, you upgrade to tier two, my boy? Shout outs, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you guys for the upgrades, man. Thank you guys for showing your support to the Elite Ninja Village. Trust me, it'll come back in ways that you'll never see it coming. You'll never see it coming. I've got some huge plans. Huge plans. Huge plans. Who's calling me? Oh, this, this person. I got it. Hold up. I talk, I'll call you later. Hold up. That person. Um, <clears throat> um, you should never have Streamlabs Pro, TH3. Streamlabs Pro is not needed. I have 
um, custom animations and stuff that pops up so you don't need to have Streamlabs Pro. In order to cancel it, you go to the Streamlabs page and then you basically go off of the Pro one. There should be a tab on there, just look it up or you can even Google it, how do I cancel Streamlabs Pro? But none of you guys should ever have Streamlabs Pro. There's no need to have Streamlabs Pro. You can use Streamlabs and not have Streamlabs Pro. Just make sure you don't pick a Pro effect. Don't pick any effect, just say no effect because I have my own custom animation that pops up, you know? So yeah. I'm locked into it. I'm locked in for some reason. Yeah, just Google um how to how to uh you know cancel Streamlabs Pro. Just Google that. Uh, there was three upgrades. Yeah, three upgrades. Three upgrades. Thank you guys so much for the support. Um, let's see. I don't have kids, but I have debt, and it sucks. Yeah, debt is horrible, dude. But the thing about debt, what you gotta do is just slowly chip away. Slowly chip away. You know, I had um how much did I have? I had about five thousand dollars of credit card debt about a year and a half ago about five grand which might not be a lot to some but for me that was a big credit card debt you know big credit card debt and now that is down to two hundred dollars you know two hundred dollars and two hundred dollars of me just slowly chipping away me you know what i'm saying not be living extravagant me not buying crazy things me keeping the same car that i have you know me doing certain things getting a house that's you know out on the out instead of living in the nice part of town by my mom you know and all that with the you know where everybody like the posh part of town where the house is where i could have i mean i got approved for a house that could have been in some of those areas i said no nah, let me live on the outskirts of town let me save you know 50 grand on this house let me save you know, uh, 300, 400 dollars on, or more than that, actually 500 to 600 dollars per month on a house payment. Let me, see, even though I maybe I could have got it at the time, but the jobs that I had, I said, let me save that. Let me just kind of do other things. So you just gotta slowly chip away at it, slowly chip away, slowly chip away. And the interest on that card was stupid too, man. But anyway, whatever. It's pretty much all paid off, man. And now I just gotta take care of the um, school loans. I got two more, but a couple, uh, little few thousand on there left for my school and then once i'm done with the school all i'll have is just regular bills so i'm almost done with the with the student loan debt almost done which i'm mad that i even i mean i'm not really upset that i even went to college in the first place because i met one of my best friends in college so i guess i'm not regretting it but at the same time if i would have known that youtube could have been a career like this i would have just done it straight out of high school i would have just said yo i'm gonna work i would have kept my job working at my grocery store or whatever i would have just kept that job i would have just use that job to buy because like the grocery store was cool i just worked from six to six to twelve you know i would have just i mean everybody would have said i'm a loser uh but whatever you know i would have just you know but i played football though so i was, I was trying to I, I was trying to play in the nfl or whatever the case is so i understand why i went but let's just say i knew that wasn't going to happen and football wasn't a factor i totally would have just worked at the grocery store and would have just saved up the money bought capture cards you know bought that stuff and would just went straight into youtube just straight there you know i would have just done that instead so um <clears throat> let's see shadow king 1982 says i never really played dragon quest 11 and i'm really loving uh, uh loving you can move around during uh, battles <laughs> uh don't watch my i have a replay maybe i'll keep that hidden don't watch my replay of me of me playing dragon quest 11 as definitive edition shadow king <laughs> <laughs> don't watch my replay bro hey but if you like moving around during the battles man that's great <laughs> oh my gosh uh let's see daniel snyder says um i can't stay for the full stream will you be uploading later would you uh would love to hear your thoughts on dragon quest 11 s yeah i actually already talked about it drag uh daniel snyder so i um so if you want you can uh rewind the stream and you can hear my thoughts on that there but um i also yeah i will be uploading it later it'll be Maybe not in your inbox, but if you go to the main page and just go to OJ Live, like the playlist, all of the OJ Lives will be there, okay? So if you ever want to watch, you know, my stream or whatever the case is, it'll all be there. Any streams that you don't see on, like, you don't see in your sub box or you don't see on the video page, it'll be on the home page in the OJ Live section. So, good stuff there. Um, man, I, I dropped my car off at the repair shop and now they're starting to look like, starting, starting to look at it. What? Uh, was due to the PC scam, uh, PC scammer scamming me two hundred fifty two hundred two two thousand five hundred dollars, and the other one thousand was a form of medical expense. Life is not cool. Well, think about it. Here's here's a positive way to think about it, and this will be the last couple questions that I answer, guys, before we play Splatoon two. Um, here's a, here's a positive way to think about it, bro. You've only got three thousand five hundred dollars worth of credit card debt. 
I'll be honest, man. Like, it seems like a lot, but that's not that much. There are people that are are supposedly better off than you. Got a better job, got a better house, got a better car, got a better everything. That got way more depth than you do. Okay, let me tell y'all a story. I was working at a rental car place, right? And my ma- and I was working, like, I was living with, uh, I think I was still living with my mom or whatever the case is. All right? And the manager there made $100,000 a year, Okay? And I think this was right around the time that I had my daughter and I was saving up so I can move out and I can, you know, have my own stuff and blah, blah, blah. This is kind of like before I really did. This is before I I was really doing YouTube and all that. You know, Um, I did a little bit, but not much. And I told him that I saved up $10,000, right? I had $10,000 saved up. And you know what he told me? And this is a guy that's been working there for, I think he's been working there for seven years. He was the branch manager. All right. He told me, you got more money in your saved up than I do. And I was shocked. Now, he had a family. He lived in a really nice part of town, like super nice part of town. He had a nice four-bedroom, beautiful house, you know, split wing, two living rooms, pool in the backyard. Everything was, so obviously, he's paying a lot of money for the house and everything. But I was shocked. This dude makes six figures, you know? He made six figures, and that was back in, that was back 10 years ago or whatever the case was. So, I had more money in my account than he did. And I just started working. I was working there for less than a year. I just saved up everything that I made. I was barely, I was living off of basically nothing. I was just paying, you know, daughter diapers and stuff like that. And just basically saving everything. I wasn't really buying any games. Wasn't really doing anything. I was just like playing the games that I got. Like I'd, or I'd only buy a game that I'm really excited about. I think like Mass Effect came out at that time. So I bought Mass Effect. But I wasn't really playing a lot of games. I wasn't really, you know, I was just really focusing on work. Because I was there all day. I was there 7 a.m. to like 6 p.m. Right? And I was just shocked that when he's, I was like, I was like, what? You know, H- how? You've been working here. This dude's been making $100,000 $100, plus for the past like five years, you know? Um, so while you're sitting here and you're saying, you know, uh, man, I got this debt, $3,500. There's people that make six figures and don't even got 10 grand in their bank account. Think about that for a second. And you're still, you still got plenty of time to live. You still got plenty of time to turn things around. That's not that much. It's really not. It seems like a lot to you, but it's really not. It's really not, man. <clears throat> it's really not. So think about it. Think about it that way. Um, let's see here. I, I, I don't think that he did. It, the thing about it is, is that, first of all, he was really intelligent, right? And I don't think that he didn't handle his money correctly. I think that he just had a lot of expenses, right? Because when you make six figures, there's a certain... You know, like you want to live in a certain part of town. If you got kids, kids are expensive, right? You got stuff that you want to do, you know, blah, 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 whatever the case is, right? So I think really, obviously that's taking a lot of money, you know, uh, from there. But I think at the same time, it's like just because somebody is well off or they it seems that way or just because you're not doing so well at one point doesn't mean that you, doesn't mean that you can't adjust, doesn't mean that you can't, you can't make things better for for yourself. Doesn't mean that something can't happen, you know, in order for your life to be going better. And hopefully I did not lose my, my copy of Splatoon 2. I hope I didn't. Um, where did I put it? <laughs> Where'd that little cartridge go? Oh, man, I might have knocked it off somewhere. Uh, but either way, that's basically what I'm trying to say. So, um... Um, I'm done talking about Nintendo and the music channels, guys. I'm done talking about that. We've already talked about that enough. Um, all right. Give me one second, guys. Let me go get Splatoon 2. I'll be right back. Uh, let's play some Persona music. Um, relaxing mix. All right. I'll be right back. Where the hell did I put Splatoon 2? I lost the game, guys. It's gone.
Oh uh, yeah, we can do Discord. Turn down the started a game. Well, don't worry. People will drop out. Y'all get in. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. It's cool, though. We'll wait. This always happens with Splatoon. Yeah. Oh, well, I need to... Well, it wouldn't happen if I can actually get another <laughs> ranking. So... <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Maybe in Splatoon 3, you can actually, like, have it to where you could join a party and, like, go in. Yeah, I know why they... I know why they, they did it to where you can't. It's like people... Like, yeah, it's like... You can't gang up on people like in just regular battles. People who have teams and <clears throat> don't. That's like, oh, you got your team. You know, you just hop in and just start destroying everybody. Yeah, that happens to Kai. Like, oh my god, that, that's like it's, it's so annoying. It's <laughs> it so happens a lot in Seal. I used, to, I remember you see like all the tags of like the clan yeah, all the tags and stuff, the clan tags, about phase to get, and about to get destroyed. All that stuff. I got concerned for a minute because I just saw a loading screen. I thought it was the capture card, and then I realized, oh, my internet's just crap. That's why I play free for all, so I don't have to worry about that. Oh, you play free for all in COD? Yeah, I, I, I'm strictly mostly a free for all player because I don't feel like dealing with teams and losing based on my oh teammates my and myself. <laughs> And y'all getting destroyed. Uh, yeah. I'm getting my hands wrapped. <laughs> it's because they're probably all prestige. <laughs> this dude's squid jumping to me. Why? Why alert people to where <laughs> I'm at, dude? An idiot. <laughs> Why would you squid jump in the first place, honestly? Uh, there's really no reason to, honestly. <laughs> you, you get yourself killed a lot.
They are all over that base. They're all they are yeah. destroying us. They got good weapons though. So do you can it access enemy territory? I'm going into it right now. I got past it. It's kinda hard, you just have to pick a time. Oh wow, I was literally I was literally behind the sponge thing. And I still die. that's that's trash. Uh, get a link to the Discord. The true ramen boy. Uh, oh god. Uh, the true ramen boy. You're are you're a, you're a Twitch sub, right? Yeah, you gotta hit me up on um, hit me up on Twitter, and I'll DM it to you. Good discussions too. Stream. I got destroyed. <clears throat> so and... twenty-one to seventy. Oof. Ooh. Oof. Bopped. Yo, yeah. was good. One percent away What's from two percent. How you doing? What's up, Chuba? Splatty two. Splatty two. Splatty two. Hey, I'm in. Oh, let's see if I can get in. Yeah, I'm in. GH3's in. <clears throat> Are you ready to hear me complain about me being level so 8 again? Yeah, yeah level <laughs> uh, Party <laughs> man's in. Yeah, nice. Oh, okay. Wait, what? <laughs> Denied. Might kick someone for how long it's taking. Yeah, look at all those prestige. There's so many multi stars. <laughs> and whenever I see a Japanese game name, I can get scared in this game. Yeah. Oh, of course, they're really good. Yep. <laughs> then again, it's like every game they're good at. Every time I see a Japanese name, you're scared. Unless an ally on their team intentionally decides not to play. Oh, nice. Oh, there we go. All the same team. Yo, oh, that, that's good. awesome. Where are it? Uh, you okay? Oh. Jump on. <laughs> Jump on. You're not even in Are you buddy? <laughs> are you buddy? I accidentally exited it out. Oh. Uh -oh. That's a oof. Oh, good man. Uh, that, that's a zoinks after that. that. <laughs> zoinks. <laughs> zoinks. <laughs> zoinks. Scoop. Oh, wait. They never put me in a battle because the time. <laughs> zoinks, Scoop. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go back to watch Scooby Doo again. I miss that shit. I've seen, I think I've seen all the episodes, man. Oh yeah, Steve Urkel appeared in the new Scooby Doo episode. I heard you about mean Sonic that. the Hedgehog. Not nah, it. I'm talking about Steve Urkel. Well, Steve Urkel and it, it, the 1990s Sonic cartoon character. Yeah, he, he, Steve actors. Urkel was yeah. Sonic, so that's what he's referring to. Seems like we're doing a lot better now that we got actually got people that know how to play. Yeah, some news on your team. Oh, whoa, he can't. He was just hiding in the corner that whole time. What's this called, dude? Yep. Other oh, corners. No, this yeah, is clearly really for the oh, right. Shoot. Call of Duty Color, Color Warfare. Call, Call of Duty Warfare. Color Run. <laughs> what? The oh, dude. Yeah. I sh actually, I should have said something. I have voice chat, not even using it. Okay. <laughs> 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 Leave me on my island to drop. Yeah. yeah. What the hell? That's funny. I was saying, dude, what, watch out. They're like, they're like hiding there. Well, that's good Still to know. Now. Yeah, my bad, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that was wild. I straight up didn't say anything. <laughs> uh, yeah, THU, they're, they're all there. They're all there. Hey, who's behind me? Oh, he's right there. I didn't see him. Oh, they got ink armor. Splatoon. Let's not choke it. Hello. Oh my goodness, they got me. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I had to kill one of them. I couldn't kill both of them. Until... Oh no, we're in danger. We got, we got, we got to get some. If you hear any like weird noises or stuff that comes up or somebody, it, it's it's always jump on charity, for the most part. <laughs> it's, it's just she's asking whose voice. I was like, it's it's always jump on if you hear any weird noises or anything like that. Oh man, they got the they got the side to the middle. They still nerf the tri and you guys are getting bodied. Oh, thanks, John. Oh, man. Yeah, we are going to get bodied. Oh, yeah, we... oh, he made yeah, a good what lead happened? Lead. We oh, died, yeah. and then he started ticking over the sides, and then... Yeah, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We lost. Yeah, we lost, That's but it wasn't bodied, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't bodied, though. Get, we, we started coming back, but it was too late, though. I died at the, if we didn't die at the end, we would have won. I died at the end. Yeah. That's, that's the biggest problem. That was terrible. Oh, you got the best kill. most kills. Okay. See. Uh, let's change my weapon. Me in game. Wait till I try her weapon. I'm going to custom slaughter shot junior. Where's Christian? Christian. That's, 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 that's what I was using. Uh, All right, um, waiting for a slot to open up. Christian I saw him in the. Like he started when you got into the first match. And he's, he's in the he's in the call. I think he's just uh, muted right now though. Okay. Yeah. You know what's funny? Yeah. When Shadow King was like, "Oh man, I love how you can have the, the free battle, or that you can move around during battle." Oh my god. That was oh yeah. Thing. <laughs> All right, so it seems like I can't even join a battle. The western, yeah. the western mode, is, dude. That's yeah, like, like, don't hear, don't hear Woji's opinion on that. Yeah. Oh my god, I can't stand that. I cannot stand. <laughs> that is the worst. <laughs> that is the worst. It seems just so unnecessary. It's like, so. It's happens. even worse than. I mean, I don't know whose is worse. I don't know what you guys think. Like fire emblems or like the western oh, no, modes. Fire Fire Emblem's like, worse? Fire Emblem's worse? Fire Emblem's like, completely... I don't even use like, Fire Emblem's. Like, I don't even use Fire Emblem's. So. It confuses me because I don't even know where I'm going at that point. Okay, okay. I can see why you think it's worse now. Because you said it's confusing you. I don't even use Fire Emblem's. I don't even use Fire Emblem's. I don't even use Fire Emblem's. But you're already engaged in the battle, so it's not like you're taking away from the action. It's just like, in Fire Emblem, you're just running around the map, bloody dotty so, Yeah. It's just silly. Yeah, fire em, fire em Western mode is silly. Oh my god. These people are ridiculous. It's like, oh, it's you, you killed me. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me how you really feel, TH3. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel. Not today. No. I see you. Ah. Wait, are we all on the same team or some other team? Or something? Uh, on the other team. Yeah, I'm on the other Oh, okay. They're coming to our base. On I'll the try. right or left side? Uh, left side. Le looks like left side. Yeah. I got one, but there's another one coming on the right side. Right side? Yeah. He oh, yeah, he here. Oh, snap. He's behind me. It's five. TH3. This damn splatter <sighs> custom splatter shot. Oh, I ran an eight. <laughs> oh, you got both, you got both of us, dude. Yeah, I ran out of ink, so he got me. Like, the only thing I'm good at is sneaking into base. The all T3 does. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually what he does. Just, just... Yeah, you got me. Got you. Oh, try Sasha. I'm pretty sure won this one. No, you guys are coming back. Uh, but they, you, you guys are a little beast. So if all of a sudden Nintendo Ooh. decided to make a musical, uh, what would your reaction I, be? We got it. We got it. I I, I wouldn't care, to be honest, if they made a musical. <laughs> musical. Uh, musical? I wouldn't really. Like a Broadway musical. 
a split a split musical? A Nintendo? Yes. Sure. Or just split the musical. Who would be the I mean, that'd be cool. I, I would Waluigi really or something? Waluigi. Waluigi. Do we music? Did they already do that? We music, baby? We <laughs> <laughs> music? 2008? Yeah. Me and Mo work the worst, the quite possibly the worst E3 ever, dude. A Nintendo musical, but it's just the me channel music. Oh, yes. <laughs> Alright, so our right, slot's filled again. I don't know, it's, it's oh, filling out people here. It looks like the same people are still some, playing. Yeah, these, there's some people still people are like staying. Yeah. So stand by. Uh, we can go into private battles since this is taking people aren't getting in. Who do we have here? Okay. Like six? Uh, I'm not exactly sure. I think we have oh. Jump on. Oh, we don't have Christian lobby either side. Of yeah, we gotta get Christian in the lobby. So I think it's better just to do yeah. uh -huh. private battles. <clears throat> Who's on who? Oh, the OJ on purple. Oh, <laughs> he has a orange. Yeah, you, you got they got kind of a little bit of a squad though, right? Like the people that are playing are actually I think pretty you good. Do. Yeah. You got the Japanese guy though, so you're gonna win. <laughs> he he decides, <laughs> he decides the balance is the Japanese guy. Yeah. yeah. He was on my team last time. Oh really man, so, like, you're gonna win this. Trade it. The trades. Oh, he's on the. Uh, yeah, I shot a, a, a play. shot some tennis missiles at him, so he bounced. Good, good. But yeah, he was gonna come over. I'm gonna go on the right side. I got somebody coming over here. They got a sniper on their team. A charger. Sorry. Oh, oh. This tri slasher guy's really good. I'm kind of pushing harder base just to be safe here. That was me, and I'm dead. All right, I've been mid. Careful, the charger. They call me do uh, left side. Try to hide this dude's camping. This dude's literally yeah, camping. You. That guy's been camping. The Ryuka guy or whatever that I just splatted. Yeah. Dude, I freaking yeah. used tennis missiles and like, and then he finally moved. Like, he was just standing there and then he finally moved. Yeah. And then, <laughs> and then when he moved because I used tennis right. missiles and, he, and then I, I shot him after that. Like, I was like, dude, really? Oh, oh you, you got, you got, oh. you got kind of training data right there. I got one of them. <laughs> oh, yeah, you did. Get, okay, it was double. Okay, yeah, you did get him. Dual kill. <sighs> okay, come on, get him. He's camping over there. I'm not even going to bother going. I like how you know where he is now. Well, this is. He's just sitting in the same spot I got him. Yeah. Oh, heck no, I'm not going to. Oh, roll. There you go. Yeah. Wait, how? We we can dominate it? Uh, we got their base. Oh, man. One of these days, I want to get 2,000 points before the win. 2,000? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They, Is that possible? They, they got everything. I'm at 1,700 right now. You can definitely get 2,000. It's possible. Points. Yeah, it's possible. No, I've I got seen it before. I've seen 3,000. Oh my god. Well, 3,000 after the win, right? Yeah. That, that's really hard to do, actually. I, I, I've seen 3,000 after the win. Yeah. Doesn't happen very I've often, though. Like you got destroyed, though. Jeez. That, that was 2735. <clears throat> I tried. The Japanese player is supposed to carry us. Well, I guess it depends on the weapon, too, so. So, yeah. are we gonna stay in this lobby? Oh, uh, let's just bounce. Okay. Okay. So, we're going to some private battles. Well, now I'm... <laughs> yeah, to go into my own turf war! Uh, I'm in the lobby with Christian. <laughs> oh, you're in the lobby? Okay, let me just join your game then. What? Let me just join what? your game. What happened? You're in a lobby with Christian? 
No, I was playing by myself. I'm, I'm just gonna join oh. Christian's game, so then you guys can just join from mine. Oh, All right, no. I'll see. All right, I'm gonna see if I can join your game. Standing by. I'm on standby. Okay. Yep. I am too. He's already playing, so I just I'll just join up with him if I can. The battle is full. That's cool. It'll actually work better because he's a sponsor. Oh, he sponsored the streams. Makes sense. You gotta have Christian. I can't join. Uh, him. Let's... Alright, let's see. Room it. All rooms are full. Oof. 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 These Splatoon people are dedicated. They are. <sighs> I don't blame them though, it's a great game. It's really fun. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Watch us not be able to get into this lobby, too. Nope, not. <laughs> nope. Rip. You know what? And the battle's ending in about a minute 15. Yep. Oh, how's everyone's day today, man? That was a pretty nice day. It's hot. Crappy. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jump On. Oh, sorry for that. Why was it crappy? Bike riding. And I got mud. Hmm. Okay, isn't that part of bike riding? It's like. In my ca in my canteen. Oh man. Oh. That shit was you actually, you actually, you actually, you actually this morning. You actually can squat up and join a lobby, uh, BC. It's just that I'm not high enough rank to do so. But no, you <laughs> you you actually Oop. can do that in Splatoon 2. It's joinable now. All right, let's see if I can join it. And. <laughs> Air Force yeah, yeah. It says joinable, but then it says the room is full. Everyone's trying to get in at one time. All I gotta, okay, all I, now it's letting me in. All I gotta do is play the ranked for a little bit. And I'm in standby, and battle is ending. Yeah, you can play with your friends, but just only in league battle. You can't do it in ranked battle. Or it's, or, 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 or. Hey, let's go. That's an option they need to add in Splatoon 3. Well, that's, that's what I was saying earlier, but what Jimmy had been playing about, you know, if they open up, people always squatting up and destroying people. Oh my god. This is this one? Alright, I'm in, I think. Mm -hmm. And... This Chuba? You're in. I'm still in. Yeah, I'm still oh, really? away from fire. Is, is Christian not in this game? Standing by. <laughs> is Christian <laughs> not in this? Oh my he god, he left. No way. Oh, oh my no. god. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> no, Christian. Oh man. It's like the wild, the wild, wild Christian chase. Jesus. Oh, <laughs> god, so we had to fight Christian. What am I getting? Let me guess. I'm gonna be on standby again. Now the room's yep. full again. <laughs> hey, they, 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 they don't like oh, you right now. 
sorry, uh, sorry, sorry. Can you hear me? Is that you, Christian? Yeah, we can hear you. Right. <laughs> Dude, you left! Hey, you know what? I'm gonna go hang out on rank battles and see if I can raise my XP. Right. Can I join now? Yay! I'm in standby now. Yeah, we, we already started the match. <laughs> we thought Christian was gonna be here and do bounced. Christian pays for his right. doesn't even play him. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll get him in. I do need to see if Popeyes has that chicken sandwich right I got disconnected. <laughs> oh, no. You got disconnected? Yeah. Oh no. This is great. Oh. Let's go into private. We'll just go into private oh. battles. Okay, so you are going into private battles? Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna go into private battles for sure. Whether Christian, I will just tell he'll he'll follow us into private battles. We're gonna go into private battles. That's what we're gonna do. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's never been yeah. this. We've usually been able to get in no problem. Oh man, Chuba, you got deleted. <laughs> no, even <really. laughs> my That's why. You yeah. got swacked. Yeah, you, got, you got deleted. Yeah, thwack. It's because he can't play as well as Luigi in this. <laughs> yeah, that's the reason. If, Wall <laughs> if, if Wall Luigi was here, he'd be he'd be dominating. No, imagine a Smash. Unless Wall Luigi is the one who's Super hacking dominating. the servers right now. Yeah, it, it's always Wall Luigi. He's the villain, so it's got to be him. Wall Luigi's just that Nintendo. Where are you going? I'll see where I'll see the other team. Oh, disconnected. Because they don't have anybody. There's, like, got, got there's only one person left. <laughs> we all got disconnected. Dude, go, go around like near their spawn point and just take over like the high ground. Okay. Russian, oh. like, we all literally got disconnected Ooh. at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No. Oh, you. Get the kill. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nobody on my team. This is sad. This is just sad. Oh, this freaking splat from I'm getting bodied. <laughs> Hold that out. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> this just reminds me of that one part in Naruto. Which one part? Yeah. There's lots of parts. When Hinato popped in. <laughs> it's just sad. <laughs> yeah, y'all got this. Party uh, I freaking body this party man out of here. That's what I did, dude. That made your party yeah, man. Yeah, exactly, exactly what you did. <laughs> so now I'm, trying, I'm trying to get this dub before we bounce the private battle. I'm, I'm, trying, part to of the I'm trying to get these points, man. Give me this win. I'm trying to get this dub before we go. I need to move on. A collusion. Yes, baby. I'm trying to get this win. There we go. <laughs> party man was the it was only one. <laughs> Oh, oh point okay. me out of the way. Chu, I can win. Chu was fighting for this. Chu was I'm fighting for my life. <laughs> R. <laughs> R. Kelly. R. Kelly, dude. Fight for my life, man. Fight for my life, man. You killing me? I'm killing me. That remix is so funny too. Oh I can't with that God, remix. Dude, Chu out here fighting for his life with a thousand points, dude. <laughs> Y'all killing me. Y'all killing me. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's do this. <laughs> Private battle. Private battle. Alright. That's, that's... Oh god. Yeah, and that's a funny place sometimes. I can't believe you just quoted R. Kelly of all people. <laughs> oh, you got to. This is... <laughs> he's literally a meme. Yeah, it's he's, a, he's a meme to... now. He's gonna be a prison meme soon. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You can't be doing what he did and not get away with it. I mean, you can, you but... No. But mm. you shouldn't be. Any more lawyers than that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if he can even pay. Yeah, he right. can't even pay his lawyers. Exactly. <laughs> if, you've, if, you've got, if you've got more girlfriends than, than good lawyers, you're in trouble. Oh, boy. Oh, or boy. <laughs> Who are we missing here? Missing Christian. Yeah, we gotta wait for Christian. Me too. 
This is like Call of Duty. Let's go. 2v2? Call of Duty? Let's we'll do 2v2 <laughs> real quick. 2v2. 2v2. Which, 2v2. What, 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 game, what game mode for 2v2? Uh, uh, Splatfest. Splatfest? Splatfest. Oh yeah, turf for Splatfest. What, what stage? What's a good oh, 2v2 man, stage? Is there, is there any 2v2? Make it, make it I don't even know. Skate park. Oh. Skate park 2v2, baby. Random teams. Random teams. Need oh, TH3, oh, let's go. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, me and Chuba, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> G G G. Remember there was a remember there was a one on one mode in Splatoon what? I remember it. Was trash. Like, trash. <laughs> it's just it's so trash. It was so utter so trash. trash. Oh man. <laughs> so garbage. Hey, hey guys, it's a one on one mode. What the hell is this? Pick up your gamepad. Oh, yeah. No, did you, did you see the way that some people? Did you, did you see this way that some people use like motion controls with the like with the Wii remote? Oh yeah, yeah. They're like wrapping uh, it around or something like it was yeah, something yeah. stupid. <laughs> so oh man, it was so bad. Hey, oh, Wait, this is turf war, right? Game? Okay, yeah, this is turf war. <laughs> yeah, turf war. Yeah, turf war. Okay, I thought it's it was splat, splat zones for a second. A lot of Oh, we could do splat zones two v two. That might be kind of lit. No. No, is it bad? I don't have a ranged weapon. If I, I. I... You can change. You can change your weapon, Mister Level Eight. Level Nine. I don't have weapons. How do you not go buy some weapons? I have bought all I have, and I don't have squad because I'm level nine. Oh well, this, that's why we got to play more rank battles so you can earn money. I got like an infinite amount of money because I don't. I don't buy anything, even though I got a lot of weapons and stuff though. I mean, I, I had like 370 hours when I had my OG switch, but now I lost everything. Real party man. That's unfortunate. There we go. I'll be mad if I won 500 hours. That's why everything needs cloud saves. Where's where are you at, TH3? I oh, died. Okay. I'm back though. I'm you about just to find my brother. You're yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> you was right. <laughs> you smart. <laughs> Another <You're> one. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> Besides, it's like you get another kill. Oh, another team. one. Damn it. If you're on OG's team in Splatoon, you automatically lose. That's not true. We won the, <laughs> we won the last game. <laughs> I won the last game. <laughs> That's only because we all disconnected. No, no part, only won. Party Man disconnected. Yeah, only, only I disconnected. For matters. Wait, how'd you. How are you still got me? That's a lag, dude. You died like three seconds later on my screen. <laughs> <laughs> That was hella oh, lag, dude. That was funny. <laughs> oh. Oh, hello. Bye bye. Let's stop you, bud. Oji loves those tenements. I was just too worried about protecting base. Just go over there, just do your thing, bruh. <laughs> Get him. Oh my gosh. What you doing, OJ? You're dealing with the Smash Brothers. Come on, OJ. <laughs> they're, they're, they're ganging up. Y'all fighting two on one. What is this? Y'all scared. Y'all scared. Y'all scared. Why y'all fighting two on one? What is this? Two on one? Where you no, the, the better question is where your teammate at. Yeah, the the t has gone. This dude, I have not seen him one time. This whole man, I have not seen him one time. The whole time you're carrying the team. I have not seen you. You have not been. Wait. Not one time have I seen you. Are you even connected? Are you connected to the game? Twenty bucks. I have more points than you do. Look what I did. Look what I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. It's because of me. I. I. Because of oh, me. Because of me. I did all the work. Oh, oh, that is too funny. I got that win for you. <laughs> you didn't kill anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, TH2 is like, man, there's nobody over here. I'm just gonna paint all this stuff. There's nobody here. This is great. I can just be at their base all day. Hey, hey, free points. This is the most free, the most free points ever. I'm over here fighting for my life. Fighting for my life over here.
You killed me! I just went for a light I can't breathe. I'm about to go watch that clip again. Oh, man. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got seven. We need one more person. Matt Does Cavell. VC have this game? We got VC ain't trying to play. I'm, I'm just gonna go on a spectator mode. It's all good. VC's watched. It's VC trying to play Dragon Quest Rivals right now. That's what he's trying to play. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, I want to play one game with Christian since he just got in here. So we're gonna let Machiavelli spectate for right now, and then I'll, I'll move over to spectating next. All right. Oh. All right, let's go. Let's do it. You're d you're done, OJ. Ooh. I'm not done. What are you talking about? You don't have Christian. You're done. 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 Am I done? I have, I have an emote in chat. Just, Just done! My internet loads. There it goes. <laughs> what is life? Have you guys heard about this, this whole uh, mosquito situation going on in Boston? With Shine? I heard, yes. Yeah. Looks like Nairo might not be going now. Mosquitoes? Yeah, there's like this crazy mosquitoes carrying around out. like a E E E virus, yeah. Yeah, like it's a virus. Virus. Just, uh, uh, I would just wear super long sleeves. I just, just wear, <laughs> wear like a full body suit, and you'll be good. You know that V suit? Wear that. Parka. Yeah, just wear that. <laughs> like when I went to Nigeria, yeah. that's what I did, dude. Just wear a full, yeah. full body. Pretty suit. much. That's stupid. Yeah, Christian does the lovers, so. <laughs> that 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 yeah, ta that umbrella is such a it's a stupid it's a stupid item or it's a stupid nah, man. It's, balanced. it's balanced it's it's not balanced and it's not fair, fair it's like, and balanced. <laughs> he's like, so just like hero right, right? Hero. he's very fair very balanced no cheese oh oh no like my ink storm there's clear counterplay yeah, to it I count press oh. shield <laughs> <laughs> well, you think I forgot about you, TH3? <laughs> think I forgot because I ran away like a bitch for a little bit? No. <laughs> the rule goes if I can't see you. She's <laughs> <laughs> like, well, I guess, she's like, well, I guess he's gone. I guess. I'm gonna... <laughs> I guess like no, no key glitch. It's showing the, the green paint is like white on my screen. Is it? It's kind of glitchy. Like, like I said, with that thing with the uh, party man, I get like, oh, when we were playing. Two days later, it, like killed him. Yeah, it's happening in my screen too. I'm maybe. I'm gonna get out of the lobby for a second after this match to see. Ouch. Oh. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> Yeah. Oh man, I was trying to help you with some ten missiles, but it was, I was too late. Oh good. Yeah. Ooh. Oh my gosh, this damn umbrella, dude. Hey guys. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tasty. <laughs> He left. Oh snap! Oh, you didn't leave. It's back. No. Oh. <laughs> Why do you always kill me, OJ? <laughs> I did not see that. Actually, killed Christian. What the heck? Oh my God! This damn umbrella, douchebag! <laughs> I had to let him get that whole area too. Oh, we got body, dude. Yes, sir. <laughs> this is with you. Dang, that covers a lot of drama. Yeah, I'll, I'll sit out because I think it's my area. So I'll no, you're good, much. dude. Who cares? Just, just stay in. <laughs> stay in. Sure. Yeah, it's fine. All right. Stay in. I'm, I'm I won't like lag in the lobby. 
Not oh, can you change the can you change the map real quick too? Yeah, I'm gonna change it to to uh to what's a, uh to what's it called to uh Sounds... random. Oh, okay. Yeah. Dang, same team. Uh, uh, pretty much, they just swapped me with yeah. uh, Macabell. Mm. Another W? Free dub? Yeah, uh, free dub? Um, so I like, I like you guys to count us out like, like we're nothing. Like, no. Nah, B dubs? We want to fight back. <laughs> Ooh, all right, we want to fight back. We're gonna nah, I didn't I mean, fully switch have, to. You I don't didn't... have OJ in this round, so I will give you that. <laughs> I'm, I'm amazing. Uh, <laughs> M MP uh, MP Dota says, uh, "Did I switch over to tw switch over to Twitch?" Uh, no, I didn't fully switch over. I'm multi-streaming. This is Twitch, though. No, I'm. It's definitely <laughs> yeah, this, all, this is all. All of this is Twitch. Everything. Everything is Twitch. Ask me, Mixer. My home is Twitch purple color. Philip, you didn't miss the whole stream. We're, we're streaming right now. As long as you're here, that's all that matters. Yeah. I'm just gonna go with this overhead view. What, is, is there like a whistle? What's this like loud noise in the back? Like a whistling or something? Does anybody know it's what like that is? It's like an echo. Noise? It's like some type of like... I don't know. It's not like a humming noise? Yeah, or yeah. Or... It's kind of like hurting my ears a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, time to do what I'm good at. I don't know. Is it my mic? No, I don't. I don't think so. Whatever, oh, it's okay. cool. Um, <clears throat> you missed most of the stream, yeah. Most of the stream. I do like this overhead view, though. Oh, how did I die? I got double kill. Didn't it? It's crazy. So, OG, you looking forward to Astral Chain, right? Yes. Greatly. I'm looking forward to Astral Chain. I'm looking forward to um, Astral Chain. I'm looking forward to Astral <laughs> Chain. I, I am looking forward to that Hunter Hunter game that doesn't exist right now. Yeah, dude, that's that right. Hunter Hunter game that's like that everyone's, ex yeah. everyone's excited for. Super excited. Like I still need to watch that one. Yeah, you need to watch it. It's really good. Hunter, Hunter. I've been watching FMA Brothers. It's not overrated, like somebody said on Twitter. Oh it's man, <laughs> that Loki they almost triggered me when I last saw. I just started watching that uh, Studio Bones Full Metal Alchemist. I chose God tier. I started watching that as well. It's pretty good. So. Oh. Like, why? Okay, it's like lagging on my screen now. What's going on? What a battle, Chuba. <laughs> We might have choked. Maybe. Yeah, I think we did. Uh, just told you we don't give up. You fight back. Oh, never mind. We, I, well, uh, no, no, I purple, purple one, purple one. I think you guys they won. Yep. Yeah, we did. See, don't don't count us out like that. You don't give up.
two. Ooh, Smack it our team. Let's do it. Let's go, guys. Nope, it's not. The final build is not going to be fixed. There's going to be a bunch of serious issues in the game, Philip. <laughs> It's actually gonna be worse. They're not, it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna be worse. It's the serious flaws that you're finding in this. It's not gonna fix. They're never gonna fix it either. So there's not gonna be a patch either. It's just gonna be forever broken. So it's gonna be very unfortunate when the game comes out because it's gonna be, it's, it's gonna break. It's gonna be so buggy. It's gonna it's break. Gonna break. It's gonna break. Could have been like a nine point five, maybe a ten out of ten. Now it's just a five out of ten. <laughs> Make sure you let Square Enix know about it. I don't know. I mean, I don't think. <laughs> 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 if, if they don't know they should, that's something maybe they should know about, maybe. Hey, anyone gonna cover the west side? Sure. Whatever. What's the west side? <laughs> Snoop Dogg west side? Or what's, what's the... West side? Tupac? Tupac. Oh, what? Nice. Nope. Nope. Yep. yep. <laughs> <laughs> nope, nope. Because <laughs> you squid, nope, you squid nope, jumped over yep. the party, man. You squid party jumped over. Don't squid jump to me. You die. Squid jumped over the party. You're man. done. You're done. You're, You're done. done. <laughs> if you squid jump, you. Oh have my to god. Do. Oh my god, dude. I got freaking. What is? You got bombarded. I got freaking rocked, man. I got rocked by a damn one of those. Weird canister looking bombs. I don't know what those smoke. things are called. Alright, come on, Chuba. You know you know you want them. Oh god, I'm in I'm in ink and I can't get out. <laughs> Chuba, <laughs> yeah. Chuba did not want to die. I ran out of ink Chuba and I know. couldn't get out because it was too little pink. I ran out of ink and you were stuck in ink. Supposed to be the chosen one. Oh my god. Uh, there you the go. <laughs> Thank you for the help. You're welcome. If the game crashed three times while you're uh while you were playing, then that that's on you. <laughs> if Dragon Quest XI crashed three times, that's on you. That's on you, bro. <laughs> yeah, that that's kinda uh, I mean that's on, that's <laughs> I'm about to say that. That's on you, bro. Hey, bro. <laughs> what were you doing with the game? People really, really come here telling me their problems with games. I'm like, I don't. <laughs> Why do you tell developers that? Like, yeah. we just go tell on Twitter. Go tell Square Enix, bro. I don't. you can't fix it. The game's trash, dude. Oh, yeah. Bro, can you fix it? <laughs> the game's absolutely trash. That's what's happening. That's that's why I crashed because the game's horrible, dude. They're not, and they're not gonna fix it either. The west side is still not inked. Go ink yeah. it, bro. Go ink it. The west side's not inked. Better run. Oh my, dude, you can't. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No, I tried. Oh man, we that was a that was a lot. Yeah, we got bot. Happens. <laughs> oh, I agree, J2 Blue. These, these weirdo lists of people talk about anime I love, anime I hate, anime I overrated. Anime oh, is, oh, that. Dumbass that's list, dude. Like, oh, oh my god. So Weirdos talk so about Hunter Hunter's over. Based off, how was Hunter Hunter overrated? I don't understand. That, that's what I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> how was Hunter that's Hunter overrated? Someone in the comments said, like, the 1999 version is better than the 2011 version. I was like, bro. The 1999 version is not better than the 2011 version, but whatever. It, it, regardless, Hunter Hunter is not overrated. There's nothing overrated about Hunter Hunter. It's not. No. It's not rated high. I mean, people like it. It has a small, dedicated group of people. But let's not try to sit here and confuse Hunter Hunter with Naruto or Full Metal Alchemist yeah. or. I think it's underrated. Yeah, I think it's underrated. Anime, but it deserves what it gets. It's it's not overrated at all. Like. It doesn't even have a good game to it. And, like, and then, it, and then, Dragon Ball Z, no type of games. And then, and then on top of that, somebody's like, "Oh well, whenever I hear people talk about anime, it's like uh, Hunter Hunter's rated up there." Like he's talking about Dragon Ball Z, he's talking about Naruto. Like you can't put Hunter Hunter in the same category in terms of popularity, rating. You, like, can. you can't put it's Hunter Hunter in this category. It's it's undisputed. You can't <laughs> yeah. put Hunter Hunter in the same category as Dragon Ball Z. It's not even close in terms of popularity. It's like, not even close. 
Hunter Hunter is like tier two. It's not. It's. I would say it's in terms of popularity. Hunter Hunter is not. It's not. I mean, popularity. You gotta have games. You gotta have current games coming out. You gotta have a ton of merchandise. Like you gotta have licensing deals. Like Hunter Hunter. Like I don't see Hunter Hunter Monopoly. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't see all that. I see Hunter Hunter Dragon Ball Z. I see Hunter Hunter. Or sorry, I don't see. I see uh, Dragon Ball Z Monopoly. I see all sorts of like licensing with Dragon Ball Z. That's that's popular. Naruto too. Oh God, I just read the comments. What? I saw a comment. I, I, I don't know what he's trying to say, but I don't But then, quick question. What tier would you put, like, a show like... A new show like My Hero in? You mean popularity-wise? Or just, like, the, t- the tiers of popularity, yeah. My Hero's a tier, tier, tier one. Okay. There's a popularity now? Right now? Yeah. Yeah, one or one or one point five, right around there. I mean, it's not quite Dragon Ball Z, or it's not necessarily like it doesn't have the legacy of Naruto, but it's in terms of anime that's currently going on, it's one of the most popular current animes right now. Yeah, it's getting more popular by every season. Yeah, it's getting, and I think that my heroes, my heroes' popularity surpassed the height of Hunter Hunter's popularity. I think yeah. my hero could reach like Naruto levels. Oh, absolutely. It, oh, he can. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. Naruto just was long, around longer than. Like, yeah, and so that's Naruto's cool. just done because like Boruto's nowhere near as popular as. You know, I'm like, sorry. I think. Oh, I, 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 I figured that much. Freaking burrito is trash. Bur- I'm sorry. Burrito. Burrito. <laughs> burrito. Burrito. And then burrito. Actually, Boruto's kid's gonna be burrito, and then burrito's kid's gonna be Despacito. I'm oh, sorry, though. I don't like that show. I don't think it, I don't. I like it, but it's not. I don't think it's like amazing. It's, it's the GT of. It's the GT. It's the of GT. Oh man, that's that's like, hard. <laughs> well, I, I'm not gonna say that bad, but it's like it might know. be though. It might be actually because I actually like GT. I don't think GT's bad. He's uh, just so dang obnoxious. Uh, I don't. Th- I think the beginning of GT is horrible. But I don't yeah, think the beginning of it is definitely. But better. I think towards the end, like later on, it gets better. It's it's pretty. It got better towards the end. Yeah, it got better towards the end. It's just like the beginning's pretty bad. There's some pretty bad things about GT. And For I, me, I just I hate I hate Kid Goku. I, I can't stand. Him. Sorry. Oh my ah! god, he's dying. And then he just puts up the umbrella. Like. <laughs> In the comments, I agree with BC. What are you say? How do you beat? Naruto. 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 I don't think not the original Naruto is better than Shippuden. Nah. Uh, what? Nah. I think Shippuden. I think most people say that Shippuden's better. Though. I think Shippuden's better no. by far. Shippuden has better parts, but the I'm sorry, that ending was trash. For Shippuden? Yes. You crazy? That fight between Sasuke and Ooh, Naruto? Uh-oh. No, 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 uh-oh. no, 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 no. The one before. <laughs> Stress the feathers. The one before. Which one before? What do you? Kaguya. Kaguya? That was the Jeez. that was the same that's the same that's the same saga, dude. Doesn't matter if that one's trash. There's tra- there's trash fights in Naruto all over the place. There's trash fights. What you- but no, like I I was so freaking angry when Madara freaking died for that reason. Nah, dude, the original Naruto is not a better show than Naruto Shippuden. I'm sorry, it's just it's just it's just it's just not. It's just not. <laughs> you can like it more, but it's just not better. Because of Kayuga? Because the Kay- the Kayuga fight wasn't good? Okay, what about the fight versus well, Ka- uh, She what, just what's... ruins everything in the Great War arc. She ruins everything? Yeah. How? Well, Black Zetsu does, excuse me. So which one is it? Is it Kayuga or is Black Zetsu? Which one ruins everything? I mean, they're kind of tagged together, so I, I kind of say both. Well, then the, he's also tagged with Magda then, too. Well, that might. Uh oh, VC is tagging you. Ew. Nah. <laughs> nah. He said I'm not. I'm not tripping. I'm not tripping at all. I'm not. I'm not tripping at all. Shippuden has. Shippuden has Madara. The original Naruto doesn't. But he just Done. dies. Do, it doesn't matter. It's his badassness. Like what? What are you talking about? He dies. So what if he dies? And. Find a way to kill him with Naruto or Sasuke. So are you trying to tell me that all the stuff that he does when he takes when he takes on the great the whole damn great ninja war, that's not amazing? No, it just becomes pointless because Kaguya shows up. That doesn't that doesn't mean that doesn't erase what he did. That doesn't erase 
it being awesome. <laughs> Just because you don't like the ending, that doesn't erase what happened. <laughs> What? How does it erase how awesome he is? Because you don't like how it ended. No, he's still awesome. They just did him dirty. Shuffle Okay, but that doesn't. E okay, I'm. You're not understanding what I'm saying. You're saying they did him dirty. You're upset at that result. What I'm saying that doesn't erase what, how awesome he is and what he did and what makes it good. That doesn't erase it just because you don't like how it ended. That's all I'm trying to say. Like he's still awesome. He still has great parts. He's still there's still great fighting. That doesn't erase it because you don't like it. That's what I'm trying to say. Like if you don't like the ending, that's fine. That doesn't mean that doesn't erase it and say, oh, the original Naruto's better because I don't like the way that this person went out. Like what? <laughs> that doesn't erase how awesome he is. The original Naruto doesn't have Madara. Like. I, I guess what I would say is my problem is, is like they build up Madara to be this big scary man and then they basically just say no he's nothing so and he is so, so like he literally like, beat the whole great he literally beat everybody in the great ninja war he literally beat up the whole damn ninja war which is why I wanted to see him fight freaking Naruto and the show was just like nope he fought he didn't need to fight Naruto that would have been epic though. he didn't need to fight Naruto Naruto was fighting other people Naruto had an amazing match against Sasuke Let's, and let's talk about let's talk about pain. Let's talk about pain and how awesome pain is. Yeah, that, that's the best part of Naruto. Like, Naruto that, the original Naruto has nothing even close to that. Chunin exams are pretty good. Bruh. Bruh. Chunin, <laughs> compared to pain? Y'all tripping. Y'all tripping. You're tripping. You're tripping. You're tripping. You're tripping. You said the, the Chunin exams, the Chunin yeah, exams Chunin compared exams. to pain? You tripping. Well, no, oh, no. Y'all, okay. Oh, hey, if y'all think, if y'all think that, if y'all think the tune in exams and and and, and what else in Naruto? Garver, that's the tune in exams. The, the best part of the original Naruto is probably the tune in exams, right? Yeah. Or the Sasuke retrieval arc. Sasuke, re okay, but they failed spectacularly in the Sasuke retrieval. That end fight. That end fight, though. They failed spectacularly, and that end fight isn't better than the end fight between Naruto and um. And Sasuke's second end fight. Which one's better? The first end fight or the second end fight? I'd say the second one, but... The, oh, the, the second one. So we have the Great Ninja mm. War with, with, with Madara <laughs> that's better. Mm. We have... We, <laughs> we have the... Obviously, the second fight's better than the first fight, which was the uh, ending to that. And let, Can I bring up Pain? Then we have Pain, and you're sitting here trying to tell me that the original Naruto's somehow better. Well, it's like, my problem in Shippuden is with all the plot holes. Okay, but but what about what's important, which is the fighting? But like the story, it builds up the story. But the story's it's still good. <laughs> you're one of those guys that like you're one of those guys that like a game can be better than like a game can have a trash gameplay, but it has a good story, and you think it's better, right? Are you are you like that? No, well, no, 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 no. I prefer gameplay in video games. Because you haven't mentioned one fight, like in terms of fight scenes, in terms of sequences, like Shippuden destroys like, it, and then you're just like, oh, no. well, the story. That's why it's better. No. Like, if you want my honest opinion in terms of arcs, I would say the Pain arc, and then the Hidan, Egan arc, and then the Chunin. That's, that's just my opinion. The, the, the Pain arc, and the Hidan and all that, beats everything. The, the Shikamaru and Hidan fight, and all, it beats everything that, that the original Naruto has. Let's just be real here. Yeah, I, I'm not arguing that Shikamaru has better high moments. Just saying it has a low moment compared to the OG series. I just don't Naruto the original Naruto what what fights compare to like it's because it's a, at the end of the day Sori's great but it's also about fighting too so what fights compare you know like what what is in comparison I mean fair I don't really have much to say after that like <laughs> the only fight that I can the only fight that I can sit there and say like okay this fight is like as good I can say um hello what's up I can say uh can we try another game yeah, what do you want to play? Spot zone or something? What do you want to play? Spot zone. Gotcha. Um, if that's okay with you. No, yeah, that's cool. That's great. No problem. Um, I think that, like... Uh, what was I about to say? I, like, I do think one underrated fight in terms of the OG Naruto is Jiraiya versus Itachi. Jiraiya versus... Like they barely fought. It was kind of epic for what they did fight. He though. put him inside a frog's toad's mouth and then Atachi ran away. Well, that was kind of cool. Oh, see, this is what this is what people who stand Naruto are saying here. <laughs> it's not even that wasn't even the fight, dude. <laughs> Literally, Atachi <laughs> ran away. He choked Sa he freaking choked Sasuke out and then he ran away. <laughs> he freaking <laughs> He choked Sasuke out, then he ran away, dude. Say too poorly. 
Oh man. Oh no. <laughs> I love I love the VC controversial opinions because it always it always rouses up OJ in the twenty years. <laughs> See, like, but I still haven't. What has he said that actually swayed my? I'm. We're sitting here. We're naming fights, and everyone's like, "Oh yeah, that's better. Oh yeah, that's better." Everyone here is like, "Oh yeah, that's better. Hey, that's better. Yeah, Shibuya's better." And then all of a sudden, then y'all bring up something like, "Oh well, the, the I don't like the way that the, it ended, and I, I don't like the way that." Uh. Okay, can I say one thing that OG Naruto did better than Shibuya? Sure. Better side characters. Like the side characters have more of a focus than in Shippuden. See, like, look, just man, look, them. y'all worried about your side chicks. Got to start worrying about the main. Dude, chicks, what's wrong man. with side? Chicks? <laughs> what's wrong with side chicks? They always trying to become the main chick and ain't good enough. That's the problem with oh, side chicks. <laughs> like, if we're being real though, like minus Naruto and Sasuke, like who has a whole spotlight in Shippuden that isn't Naruto or Sasuke? In Shippuden, there's a bunch of cool characters. Here's well, the thing about like, Shippuden that I, that's. I'm saying OG, like compared to. Here's the cool. Th- here's the cool thing about. Shippuden. Shikamaru and all them got way better, like, stuff. Well, they got, like, str- they got stronger, but we never saw them. Yeah. Like, we saw what? Shikamaru, like, fight Hidan. We never saw that with Shikamaru get stronger? What? Well, I, I saw I saw him get stronger, but he just, like, he, he always never appears on camera in, like, big moments, except for, like, the Hidan arc. That, that's a big arc, dude. That's a long, big... What are you talking about? That's a big yeah, arc. Like, but that's it for, like, side characters. Like, I... There's only Shikamaru in one arc, and like that's it. That's the. Bro, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Sakurai had her own little little stint too that she did, bro. And it's not just that. There's more. I'm, come on, bro. Come on. Come I'm not on. getting started on Sakura. Bro, come on. Oh, here it is, Sakura. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting started. You're on saying that. that nobody else had any big moments. That's what you're saying, though. Well, like, not as much as OG Naruto. What were like, all the big moments for other characters in OG Naruto? Like, you had the entire Chunin exams where each character... Because you had the freaking Sasuke retrieval arc where, like, useless characters got moments. But then, like, other than that, like, sure, you can say... Well, that's like, the only great... Sasuke. That's the only great arc, though. That's the... You keep on bringing up the, the, the Chunin exams. That's it. That's all you're bringing because up the Chunin exams. it's a good arc. And that's the only good arc. It's more... Than, Naruto's more than the Chunin exams. Ah. Uh, it's the only good arc. That's the only, like, amazing arc. It's that one. That's it. And I agree, the tune-in exams are awesome, but after the tune-in exams, what's, what's left? Uh, the attack on the village was kind of decent. That's the tune-in exams. Well, is it? Yes. I, I wasn't sure because of the time skip in between. You mean the the attack on the village? That they attack yeah. literally during yeah. the... That's the tune-in exams. Okay. Um... Shoot, I'm trying to think. Remember, like, they, um, at the very end, like, uh, they're hiding, like, Orochimaru's hiding as one of the, the Kages, and then attacks yeah, he, when they're all yeah, inside he, the, at the he, stadium. Yeah, he, yeah, he killed Gara's dad. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, that's the, that's the tuning exact, that's, that's the best one, and then after that, it's like, all right. Mm-hmm. Cool, I guess. You know? <laughs> Good stuff. Yeah, I got this guy. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm gonna see how it's, it's it's too much lag. And the problem is, I don't care if you think the main characters suck. The problem is, I disagree. No, I never said I. Didn't no, I'm talking about character. Philip and the. He's saying the problem is that the main oh. characters suck. No, they don't. They're fine. So oh, no, main once again, are fire. The, the, so once again, like when people just say really super like like what what does that add to the conversation? The problem is main characters suck. No, the main characters don't suck. All right, then what? They don't. He, You've added nothing to the conversation, Philip. You've literally added nothing, but you're no offense, it's just like worthless opinion. <laughs> like it's like literally that's worthless. <laughs> it's like worthless. At least explain what the main characters suck. Like what, what? am I supposed to agree? Like what do you want me to do? That like, like a... Am I supposed to agree with that? Like, like, it's worthless. That's that's not, it's not a value that's not a very good opinion to have. Like it's not anything that I'm gonna be like, alright, yeah, oh, you're like, right now, you know. Another problem is like like what does he mean by main characters? Because like I, I can, like, I can respect TH3's opinion because at least he's trying to give, you know, more, you know, substance behind it. He's not just saying this sucks just because this sucks. At least he's trying to say, well, I don't like this in Shippuden because, you know, the, you know, but like they didn't fin- finish the, you know, whatever, like, like they didn't finish flesh out whatever Madara's character. I would have liked to see this. Okay, that's fine. You know, I can, I can, I'm not gonna call his opinion worthless or anything like that. But yeah. if you just say this person sucks, I know they all main characters. Suck. It's like. Yeah, you, you add nothing. It doesn't add anything. Uh, Christian, do you want to play something else? Yes, if you want to. Yeah, let's play. 
What do you, what do you guys like to? I don't tower, know what you guys. Like. What do you guys like to play? Tower, tower control. control or rainmaker, one of those two. All right, tower mm -hmm. control. Let's get it. Tower control and blitz. Oh, okay. No, no, no. <laughs> oh wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. Wait. Hold up. Hold up. What? Who left? Somebody left. I got the. Uh, I got disconnected. My connections. My connection is acting. Oh my bad. Crazy right now. So. All right, hold up. I'm gonna make another lobby. Everybody jump back in, then we can all play. Um, okay. I thought I thought Party Man was still in. I was like, what the hell? Yeah, it, my connection's acting worse. So you guys can continue playing because I'm I'm gonna see what's going on. What you want? You got McDonald's? McDonald's? Nah. It might be. It might be. That maybe McDonald's something wrong. Not sure. The they got that McDonald's connection going on, Party Man. Happy meal. It's good to it's good to watch the stream, so I guess I can just watch the stream. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on, bro. No, it's all good. Also, no, you fine. Comments. I'm gonna distance myself from because I disagree with minus the soccer point. I don't disagree, but the other half I entirely disagree with. Wait, Sasuke is a fine character. What's wrong with Sasuke? Oh, no, I'm not gonna ask. Oh my god. Ask. I don't even. I mean, I don't. I don't have a problem with Sasuke. Oh wait, I forgot about the Zabuza art. That was a good art. Uh. That that was a good art. Uh. <laughs> Zabuza is a bit of a fraud, though. Though <laughs> you know what I'm saying. <laughs> you gotta you gotta kind of admit he kind of went down like a buster, though. Like Kakashi beat him pretty easily. They did Kakashi dirty at the end of the Great Ninja War. They, that's true. They did. He deserve. Um, he deserves it after after beating people so quickly at every single. Kakashi. Kakashi's dope, and I think Kakashi has some great moments in the original and also in Shippuden. But I mean, like, uh, I, I mean, reason, I, another reason Shippuden pisses me off is because Kakashi's my favorite character, and they did him so wrong. Like they just did him dirty. I mean, the, okay, look. Naruto has the Zabusa arc, but Naruto and Sasuke and Sakura, they're not good in that arc. Like, they're not, they're just, they're just yeah. not very good. They're not ready to fight at that level. They're really not. Like, they're pretty bad, actually. <laughs> they just Naruto. became Gen. They just became Sasuke. Genin. They just became Genin. This guy. Sakura, watch over this old man real quick. Yeah, Sakura has, can do nothing in the original ship. Like, the original Naruto, she literally does nothing in the original Naruto. She, like, does nothing but cry over Sasuke almost every single day. Like, if you, if you wanted to say Sakura was useless, I'd agree. But Sakura is really good in Shippuden. Like, she's actually dope in Shippuden. That's the thing. Question is who's more useless, Sakura or Yamcha? Wait, who's that? <laughs> uh, in the original Naruto? Sakura's pretty... I'm saying in general, like, just in general, Oh, Yamcha. Because, like, <laughs> because because Sakura actually goes to fight in the Great Ninja War, and she actually, like, does some damage, you yeah. know, like... And she can, Yamcha she's... can't even touch anybody, like, yeah. past Saiyans. And, and she's a god tier... that Saiyans. She's also a god tier healer, too, Wait. you know? Wait, yeah. hold on. Philip, did you watch episode two of the anime? Like, Sasuke literally points out his goal in that freaking episode. Like in episode two. No, Sasuke has plenty of motivation and drive. He has plenty of it because of the everything what happened with uh, his family and how his whole family was slaughtered by his brother. You know, but he has plenty of drive. Even after he finds out the the truth behind his family and kind of what went down, he still has plenty of drive to get his revenge too. And you see yeah. that at the very end of Shippuden, you see that. Sasuke grew on me as the series went on. So yeah, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to disagree that Sasuke has no drive. That's 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 literally factually false. <laughs> like, it's not even an opinion. That's literally it's factually false that he has no drive. <laughs> like the whole series, he's butt hurt and angry about stuff. Well, butt hurt's a strong word. I mean, it's not like his parents weren't slaughtered or anything like that. And the thing is, if you don't like Sasuke, Sasuke is like half the show. Just drop the show because you're not going to like it at that point. So, like, there's no point in watching it. Well, I mean, like he it. doesn't have to like Sasuke. There's lots of, people, lots of people don't like Sasuke for whatever one reason or another. You don't have to like him. What I'm just saying is that, like, to say that he has no drive or no goals, that that's literally, that's factually false. Well, like, in that, too, like, when he says, yeah. like, he, like, Sasuke is pointless. Well, if you think Sasuke is pointless, do you think, like... Yeah. A lot of what happens in the show is that, that's factually, that's factually, once again, Sasuke is not, so, Sasuke has so many 
big like he's a big part of the show that's factually false you know and v- vc all filler is garbage like they're all equal yeah naruto's fillers are horrible too so <laughs> they're, they're all fillers trash Oh, it's just, I'm, I'm not agreeing that, that fill, I'm not agreeing what one person's filler is better. I don't watch the filler episodes. Why? Why are you watching fillers? What? What a waste of time. Yeah. yeah why yeah. waste time watching filler? We can just watch the, the yeah, actual. That's that's okay. actual art. We can agree that. I feel the need. I feel the need to explain myself then. Um, basically, I watched the fillers even though the series was out because I just wanted the full experience to see like what people at the time thought of it. And then, like once I found the story to be really interesting, I just start watching nothing but canon. You know, so I watched enough filler to get a general sense of it. I, got it. I can't say which filler is better than what because I don't watch. I didn't watch the fillers, so I can't sit here and say which one's better. I don't I care. Just turned on the, I turned on the dub and used it as noise when I did home. Oh my nope. god, dude! It's like. <laughs> What Sasuke says and does is not different. His goal was to kill Itachi. He fought against Itachi. He ended it's up. He ended up. He ended up, he ended up losing, but that was his goal. His goal was to fight Itachi, and kill Itachi, and he achieved that goal. So, yeah, he eventually achieved it. Yeah, he eventually achieved it. So that was his goal. But he found out the truth. He found out the truth with Itachi though too, and then his other goal was to, literally, take revenge on, the Hidden Leaf Village, which he yeah. tried and. Damn, he got close. And then his other goal was to literally burden the whole hate of the whole world upon him with all the QBBs and literally be like, damn Lucifer, you know, <laughs> <laughs> literally be the re- like Lucifer and burden the hate of everybody's everybody in the whole world on his own shoulders. And he he got very close to doing that. He was actually going to do it, you know, but Naruto stopped him. So I don't. Either you don't understand, you can't comprehend the show, or you don't know what you're talking about. But Sasuke has major drives, major goals that are impacting the whole series throughout the whole thing. So I mean, I don't, I don't know what else to tell you, man. Either you don't know what Sasuke, what's going on with Sasuke, or you're just ignorant to the case. This essentially just turned into Naruto essence. I mean, I know Naruto. That's the thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I wouldn't argue with you on Naruto. That, that's that's a place. Yeah, I, would I know Naruto. So when people sit here and try to act like they know the show and they don't, when they sit there and say dumb things, it's easy for me to point it out. Like if you say and something I, dumb. I just finished the entire series like a week oh. ago. I basically started last year and just watched it. Yeah, my hero, my hero's fill is pretty good. Like, I, I enjoyed the fill. I love it. my hero's filler. Yeah, yeah, my hero's fill is actually like fun and good. Like, I, I like it. Well, his and goal. Was, get right back to the story. His goal was Sorry. for Itachi to die, and Itachi died. That was his goal. Doesn't matter if he didn't kill him. His goal was he went, he fought him, and Itachi died. Itachi basically died of his, the disease that he had. So that was his, his goal was for him to die, and he died. Yeah. That was his goal. Not only that, but then he gained Susuna by fighting Natachi. So he gained something really, really amazing mm-hmm. by fighting him. So. GG's. GG's. Isn't that a side of him being confused? It wasn't that he was confused. It was that he was, he was almost like he was tricked. This is what well, the official story was from the Hidden Leaf. The hidden leaf, yeah, he, the hidden leaf, basically set Atachi up because they were going to rebel. All of the, they were all going to rebel against the hidden leaf, the Uchiha clan. So in yeah. order to keep the peace, Atachi took the literally yeah, slaughtered the whole he slaughtered the whole clan and took the blame for it, even though they were going to do it anyway. The hidden leaf was going to slaughter the whole the whole Uchiha clan because they found out about a, a, a revolution or whatever or a civil war that was going to come out between them so Atachi just took that burden on his own yeah and like you can't say that Sasuke was confused because he had been told one thing for all of his life yeah and had like no understanding of what was actually going on it was top secret information that <clears throat> um that he you know that he wouldn't know about that the only the only condition from Atachi 
was that they keep Sasuke safe and don't tell him. Mm. And also, he can come see Sasuke every now and then. <laughs> so, it's not about him being confused. He was told one thing. Oh my god, his sister told me. He was told one thing. He has a goal. The difference between instinct and goal is different. An animal can lash out because that might be their instinct. Sasuke wasn't instinct for him to lash out. That was what he was told and that's what revenge he was getting. So I don't know why you're comparing him to an animal who's not thinking on their own. Like Animals think instinctively. It wasn't fight or flight for Sasuke. Humans have fight or flight. It wasn't fight or flight. I can't deal with this damn umbrella, dude. Like, I really can't deal with this damn umbrella. Yeah, stop it. <clears throat> the umbrella. Oh my god. Oh, no. <laughs> Got him. oh my god. I tried it. <laughs> what was your favorite, like, arc in uh, My Hero? It's probably an easy one, but what was your favorite arc? Uh... There's a lot of good arcs. There's a lot of good arcs. There's not that many episodes, yeah. though. Right, not that many, yeah. Dude, season yeah. four is gonna take the cake, though. Dude, I, I heard, like, well, they, it's really good, though. Like, people read oh. a manga, and it said it's, like, excellent. I, I said, like, don't even tell me a thing. I'm, 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 That's, like, one of the few parts of the manga I don't know, but I've heard general, like, concepts about it. I'm not gonna say anything, because no spoilers. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard it's really good, though. I can't wait to see it this October. I will say though, the most recent arc they've been doing in the manga, I think like it's animated. Because mm. that's gonna be, oh, great. that's gonna be god tier. I can't wait for that. It's gonna be so good. Whenever Deku actually learns like to not go crazy, to where it doesn't like kill him when he fights, that was my favorite. Oh, right, yeah. if he, he doesn't go too much, yeah. In, yeah. I think you might like it. Right. Then. I agree. Oh, good. I've been, I'm sorry, I'm not. I'm gonna keep quiet. How is it, how is Chuba still alive? How, how is Magic. This, how is this man still He's alive? Got the, what the frick? Get the spatoon DI. Stop! Yeah, no, I don't want this, no! <laughs> I'm gonna 140. <laughs> <laughs> no means no. Dead, it's going two hundred percent. He's still living. No means no. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. I don't even know how to play this game mode. To answer the best arc in uh, my hero, though. I'm gonna say the stain arc. Mm, that was a pretty good arc. It's either that or the. You guys, just keep stuff. coming! Yeah. Sports Festival had the best opening. Yeah, Sports Festival was good. Oh, I love that opening. The other one, what was the one where they were gonna take the exam? I, that one was okay. I Wait, which, which one? Well, it was one where you had to take the exam to get the license. Oh, the hero provisional license? Yeah, yeah. That one was okay. Yeah, that one was okay. I, I didn't love it, but it was alright. I, I will say, the first season is the weakest arc. Really? Yeah, I like the, the first, first season, though. Like, I actually like really, the first season's arc. First season's really good, but like compared to season two and three... Well, they're, it's tough to compare well, them because it, they're, it's they're tough still... To say that, though. They're, they're yeah. learning what, still, how to fight and stuff, you know? Yeah, that's, yeah. Kind, of, that's kind of fair to do that. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't do that. Because like Deku, because they I mean, literally didn't know how to fight at all. They don't know how to fight. Deku literally didn't have any powers yeah. until like a certain point. I'm just about to go. <laughs> <laughs> you could start a war with that show though as to who's the best character. Oh man. <laughs> Sasuke was a Itachi's puppet. Sasuke was definitely not Itachi's puppet. Bro, what? What? <laughs> what? Sasuke wasn't Itachi's puppet at all. What? Oh, oh boy, here we win. go. 
Oh Ooh. god. Someone get a life real quick. Ben, we should open boys. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. And you, we win. You about, you about to start warning chair here. <laughs> this, is, this is Sasuke wasn't Itachi's puppet. Uh, Sasuke was trying to protect Itachi. Or sorry, uh, Itachi was trying to protect Sasuke the whole time. That's what he was trying to do. They were trying to get him, like, you know, he wasn't his puppet, though, at all. That's that's crazy. It's crazy talk. Oh, I'm disagrees. No, he wasn't. That's that's ridiculous. <laughs> it's ridiculous, no shit. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Yes, this character was being manipulated all along. He was. He, he, he was. <laughs> <laughs> he was it? That's the thing. All part of the master plan. <laughs> huh. Yeah, I'm sure was good in Dragon Ball, but that was the only time he was good. Uh, I, when DBC hit, yeah. he sucked. See, Phil, I can tell Philip. Philip has does not comprehend Ucho, Naruto Ucho, at Ucho, all. Who's Uchiha No, Sa no, he, Sasuke he, he, was uh, Sasuke Yamcha. played Orochimaru. He means Orochimaru. Yeah, no. Sasuke played, played Orochimaru. It wasn't the other way around. Sasuke played him. Yeah. Sasuke already knew what he was getting. He already knew that Orochimaru was going to try to take his body Sasuke over. Sasuke literally stated from the beginning, "I just want to get powerful." Yeah. Like, he actually thought he wanted something from like. He was gonna follow Orochimaru, you crazy. Yeah. Like, I don't feel I don't think when Phillips watched, I think he's watching it upside down. I think I think, I think he's literally watching upside down and eating popcorn. Pro probably I, I don't think he comprehends Naruto at all. You said a number of things that make literally no sense tonight. He's watching it in mirror mode. Yeah, you're wa he's watching he's watching it or it's like flipped. It's, I I don't he's watching know. Like freaking Hebrew subtitles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he ain't watching it, is it? Maybe... <laughs> see, you just put up the umbrella and then you just kill somebody. Anyway, yeah, he's... I don't know what... He's not watching regular Naruto, though. Like, he said Sasuke had no goals. Sasuke... <laughs> Wait, what? Sasuke is a wild animal lashing out. Like, what? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> like, like, over here, like, with, with your damn pe Petra quotes. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like these damn Petra uh, Bridget quotes. Oh like, my like, what? What is Petra, like yeah. making up this stuff? Like, what is going on here? Damn Captain Planet quotes over here and stuff, dude. Like, what? What is this? <laughs> Captain Planet. I'm trying to play the game and I can't do this. <laughs> oh, man, that's too much. I'm crying right now. It's like more... Oh, come on. I, I can't beat this stupid, this brawler thing. I'm right next to him. He just, he can just shoot me. Then he can just put up a, I, I don't. Just a dodge. <laughs> I'm trying to, I, I don't know what to do. I don't know what, because does anybody know how to beat this damn oh umbrella? Dude, hey, OJ, maybe, maybe we should ban it. Maybe we should ban it. It's, it's broken. Yeah, dang, dude. Dude, ban it. What the oh, hell? Oh, it has too much RNG. You need, you need to ban it. It's not a fit for competitive play. Oh, Ki man. Ki Killer B versus Sasuke was super. Oh, man. <laughs> Sasuke causes trouble for everyone. So does my man. <laughs> so does. <laughs> man, this man's really hating on Sasuke right now. Wow. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, man. He's, he's, he's watching this show upside. He has no idea what he's talking I mean, okay. you can sit there, you can talk in a stream all you want to. He has no idea what he's talking about. I know, that you like, I know that you like Shippuden over OG Naruto, but can I disagree with Sigma and saying that Shippuden saved oh, the Naruto man. anime series? I, I didn't save it. Naruto was super popular before Shippuden. It was extremely like, popular before Shippuden. Like, so it, it, the, the original Naruto series didn't need to be saved. It was By the time that the original series was ran through, it was insanely popular. In fact, you could say that Shippuden was only good because Naruto, like OG, laid down the tracks. The most villainous character, freaking Dio, from from <laughs> fudging Dio from from uh, JoJo. He is a oh my, he's horrible. Dio. Dio. Is that a JoJo's reference? Yeah, JoJo. <laughs> Dio, no, I think Dio. He's the main. Well, he's the villain in the original. 
And then in the Jotaro's arc, yeah. Stardust Crusaders. <laughs> I need to watch JoJo. Yeah, you watch the the original is actually really short. You can get through it in like maybe a few days if you watch. Like it's a it's super it's like twenty something episodes, and you can watch the abridged versions where it's like seven or eight episodes, where it's like it, it gets you through the whole thing. I think I'm gonna watch it when I go to college, I so it. I'm just fully immersed in it. Yeah, it's it's because actually everybody watch it in like too. college talks about JoJo. Everyone, everyone's, it's all the references to it, all the stuff. So I need to watch it. It's just too many. I sort of need to be part of this. Drinking game. Every I time someone says "ora ora," like you, you. Ora 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 ora. Or muda 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 muda. Jotaro. Jotaro. Or when people start saying stands, like when you oh, see all the stand man. jokes and stuff like that. Hey, baby. It's, it's a uh, yeah. You gotta watch jo JoJo's great. It's 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 great. You don't gotta watch all of JoJo. I think the two ones that you need to well actually, I'm, I'm gonna watch. You it might all. as well. You can you might as well, but like you might as well. I don't know what people think about the the fourth arc. What's his name? People uh, hate the fifth one. People, some people do really hate the fifth one because it's not it's not different. Oh yeah. my god. It, you know it's it's different. I don't want to ruin it, but. You're different. Yeah. <laughs> I was just tripped out by the drawings. Like after watching Stardust Crusaders, uh, yeah. and then going into the fourth arc, it's like with Josuke. I was like, "Yo, look at these drawings, bro!" <laughs> oh, DJ DJ Jamster said Hunt Hunt is better than Naruto. I can see why. He, I can see why somebody would say that. I don't have a problem with. I, I mean, I might disagree, I but I mean, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sit here and say that like that like that's a, like a problem. That he says that. Yeah. Oh no, I, I actually agree with him. I should like yeah. him more North. Hunter Hunter is really good. Yes, you know, it's just like I when you say it. stuff like Sasuke has no goals. Woo. Like that's the time when I'm like, no, that's the. <laughs> Wait, what? what? Okay. I'm getting close. Thoughts. <laughs> Hunter Hunter needs to come back. Return. I feel bad for all Hunter Hunter. I know, man. Like after watching this, like even even if I waited, like I'm like, man, I still miss it. Though. Like, I really wish it just come back. Already. Did you, you finish? Did you finish the whole thing? Yeah, I finished the whole thing. Yeah. Okay, cool. Jeez. I still miss it though. Yeah, I miss it too. Everybody misses it. Oh my god. Uh, DBZ is more serious than Dragon Ball, so it's kind of uh, I like DBZ better because it's more serious. But Dragon the, the, the original Dragon Ball. Yeah, he said there's Dragon Ball's better. I, I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to hard disagree with that one. <laughs> <laughs> DBZ is better because it's more action. It's like yeah. more like serious. Like D Dragon Ball the original was like very like perverted and like very silly. What you mean? Wait, you? Not horrible. Quick yeah, question: Like, I haven't watched DBZ yet. Where should I start? You haven't watched the original DB or wait, Dragon Ball Z? Oh, I watch. Haven't seen any Dragon Ball. Watch Dragon Ball Kai. That's what I would watch start. That's what I'd Wait, you say prefer Z2, but you said Dragon Ball's better than Dragon Ball Z VC. That doesn't make any sense. VC, you're tripping. Like, he's just he's just trying to... I don't think he even thinks any of the stuff that he's saying. No, but yeah, watch Dragon Ball Kai. Dragon Ball Because it's, it, it's... Yeah, Dragon Ball Kai is shorter and it's actually like... Is it only... How do you say it? Condenses it. GT's yeah, not better than Super. That that's also nuts too. No, it's it's not even, <laughs> that's I don't care. That's not an opinion. That's factually wrong. It's not an opinion. It's not even close. It's not even close. It's not even close. Super, it's super crushes crazy. GT with, the, with an iron fist. <laughs> no competition. There's no competition. Oh my. Ooh. Especially the oh my especially the tournament arc. Oh yeah, that tournament arc. You, tournament you of definitely power? cannot say. Oh yeah, yeah. the tournament, tournament of power. I mean, yeah, it, 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 that's god tier right there. Yeah, but even like the that's golden true. Frieza, even stuff like that was kind of oh, dope, yeah. you know? Yeah, that, that, yeah, was, yeah, that was pretty cool. Too. Or even like Beerus at the beginning. Goku. Beerus, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. How'd you feel about Goku Black? Oh, that's got it. Oh, nice. that's cool. Uh, Goku Black was okay, but it was. I mean, it kind of dragged on a bit, but it's okay. It's not. It's not horrible. Yeah, a bit. Yeah. I would not put the original Dragon Ball over Super. That's also crazy. <laughs> That's also crazy, dude. I, <laughs> the original Dragon, Dragon Ball was good, but the original Honestly, Dragon I Ball stopped watching Dragon Ball altogether. The original Dragon Ball's corny, man. Like it's super corny, and it's like I know it's old, but it's like 
it's like it's really silly and everything but to me it's like the original dragon ball like they just hunt they they looking and hunting for dragon balls too like there's too many times where it's like them against like it's like breath of the wild or something like they're it's like them against the damn wild it's them against you know flying around in a ship <laughs> or on a ball, boat it's too much bulma like way yeah. too much bulma in the original oh, bulma. Dragon ball. oh yeah bulma. like way <laughs> too much bulma barely any like there's episodes of, on, on episode on episode where there's no fighting in, in, in it at all like it's just way too much it, it's like you know like what was it uh the guy that passed away um uh, you know rip but um Crikey! That it's like it's like that. Yeah. That show. What's it like the the crocodile hunter? They out here going in the wild and doing all this. Like oh, it's too yeah. much. It's, <laughs> it ain't even like well, fighting or nothing. Irwin. To like until like okay, yeah, the end. Steve Goku Irwin. gets good. You know. Yeah, Steve Irwin. It's like yeah. it's it's just too much of that. Like of just not doing anything. For me, I just didn't take Dragon Ball serious, and then Dragon Ball Z was like when like everything started going down. I was like, okay, I like, can actually I like it more. Personally. Yeah, that's better than Z much more. There's only like one yeah. anime I will refuse to touch. What, what what's that? One Piece. One Piece? There's too many episodes, man. One Piece it's intimidates the crap out of me. Oh, One Piece! I'm not touching that. Too no, many, that's too, too many, many, too many episodes. Too Piece, many man. episodes. They need they need to do a no, one. No, uh, they need to do a One Piece Kai. You know where it just. Yes, if they do exactly One Piece Kai, I'll watch that for sure. My my friend like said episodes. he watched all 900 episodes of. One piece in like eight months. I'm like, God bless you. <laughs> God, God bless no no life more like it, right? Like t- JoJo you took watch o- like five, ten episodes a day. Or something. Yeah, JoJo took over my life, and I watched I watched all of JoJo. Well, I'm on I'm on JoJo. I'm on a uh, what's his face G- Giorno's arc. I, I haven't finished oh, yeah. it, but oh, there's no, I'm in no rush to finish that. Arc. <laughs> yeah. It's not like it's bad. I'm just not in a rush to finish that arc at all. Real quick, to anybody who might know what I'm talking about, I, I started with Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Should I go back and watch the original Full Metal Alchemist or no? I heard Brother. You, you just uh, watched I, Brotherhood. I heard, I heard yeah. you just watched Brotherhood. Yeah. That's yeah. my friends told me to watch Brotherhood. Because Brotherhood's made by the same team that. that did My Hero, and like yeah. I've been watching that. That show is freaking amazing. Like, it's so messed up, but so good. I gotta watch more of it. I watched it like a couple of episodes. Like, it starts to really get serious in, like, episode two. And it just doesn't stop. He's to super, DJ said oh. super, Dragon Ball Super's power scaling was trash. Power I mean, scaling. what does power scaling mean? What do you mean? Like, it's over 9,000. What do you mean by power scaling? Yeah, like, like that type of... <laughs> I, I don't... I, it's just... The only thing that annoys me a little bit was when Kayla and Kefla did, like, the, the fusion thing. That, that's... Yeah, that was a little bit annoying. Yeah. They got way too strong. Yeah, that was that. annoying because how part they got way too strong. They're, they're showing a Goku. I was like, how is that possible? Yeah, I think Goku was holding back a little bit, wasn't he? Was he? Well, at seven? first he was. They started. He started going. Try, he started like actually trying, and then the only way he was gonna beat them was Ultra, Ultra Instinct. The one, the one thing I found funny about Naruto though was like the author admitted he made Naruto as a kid way too powerful from the start. As Did in, he? like, he made him, like, like, he was able to make thousands of shadow clones just in one day, which is kind of crazy. Uh, <laughs> which he could still do in Shippuden. Yeah, no, I, I'm, like, he's saying he made him too OP from the start. Not, 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 okay, okay, I see what, I see what you're saying. But he's still lost, though. So, I mean, all those shadow clones, the shadow clones would be getting body half the time, though. Yeah, but he always used it was the thing. Because yeah, he didn't have time. anything else. He didn't know anything. That's all he knew. <laughs> 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 he didn't have anything else, man. He didn't need anything else. I mean, Goku does always hold back. That that is true. He does always hold back. That's a, that's a Saiyan thing, though. Saiyans like to joke around a lot, like to play with their their opponents. Oh. Like <laughs> they get cocky. They get way too cocky, and then they lose, and then yeah. it's like, oh, and then they get the enemy gets way too powerful, and then oh. someone dies, and then they get mad. And, so that's <laughs> <sweet>. <laughs> that always happens every time. Or Ve- or Ve- or what was it? in Vegeta's because he just stopped caring about it and then yeah, he became. Yeah, 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 so get powerful and it's so just power up. He's like, oh. And that one tweet you linked that said like Hunter Hunter was overrated. Like he also said like Yu Yu Hakusho was like the best anime ever. Like, which is, is that like, show actually good? Which is like that is a, which is like contradicts that like contradicts each other what? because they're like. <laughs> Same writer and stuff, and they have a lot of similarities here and there. But whatever. I, I was gonna say like that makes no sense. Yeah, all. most people who like Hunter Hunter like Yu Yu Hakusho, or vice versa, or whatever the case is. 
makes sense. I really like Yu Yu Hakusho, and I really like Hunter Hunter. I think there's a lot of similarities between them. There's even some some of the scenario plots and some of the stuff that happens in there. Like for example, like in in Yu Yu Hakusho, they have that uh, where when uh, what's his face when when Yusuke goes to meet his dad or whatever, his great grandpa, and they they have to run for like three days or whatever. Like they do that, yeah. in, like in the beginning of the Hunter exams, they they have to like show the endurance. Like same thing where they're just like running throughout that whole thing. And whoever said. Black Clover is the new goat. You need to stop. Yeah, I saw that. I, I, I don't <laughs> say that. I don't, I don't watch Black, this. So. You, I, so. I don't care. I haven't seen DBZ or Dragon Ball. You've lost all right to speak. Like, <laughs> Black Clover? Wait, I've heard some good oh, things yeah, about that right. show. But like, you like it? I don't know if I, I don't. I don't. I mean, I haven't seen it yet though. So it's like, why would you watch I, Black I don't watch Clover? My heroes a thing. <sighs> Got kind of bopped. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. We got, we're going to have one more. And then I've got to take a little bit of a break before the PE podcast tonight because I got got to set that up. Uh, What do you guys, hey, Christian, what do you want to play for the last one? I've watched Samurai Shampoo. I don't really like it that much, though. I mean, mean, it's it's not that I don't like it that much. It's, It's all right. It's cool. He's still muted. I think he's muted. Um, what does Christian like? Does he like? I think he likes. Um, I don't know. He didn't specify, did he? Tower control, right? He likes tower control. Yeah. Really? I think that you can't only watch two episodes of an anime. You got to watch more than that in order. You to- got to watch more. Yeah. Typically, it takes more than that to get an anime going. Like, yeah, you- no. You- if you're going to get, like, dedicated to an anime, you have to watch, like, ten episodes of it. If, if you watch the first yeah. two episodes of Hunter x Hunter, you might think the show is trash. You might. Because mm-hmm. he just goes fishing, and then they're on a boat. <laughs> 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 like, there's nothing... You... I'm on a boat! Yeah. It, there's, there, there's nothing that happened on top of that. Like, some of the characters can be, like, annoying, like, at the beginning. Like, you don't understand, like, what's going on with them. Like, Leorio... He just like yells the whole yeah. time, you know. Like he's just yelling, and he's just a dude in a, like. Wait, is this guy supposed to be good? He's just in a suit, you know. What's in that briefcase oh. of his? You know what I'm saying? Could could yeah. looks like a girl, but, but he's a guy. You, you know? know what the funny thing is? I looked at the art of this show, and I used to think like, oh man, this show's gonna be. I don't know if I only watch the show. Yeah, man. it watch looks the trash. First, like, <laughs> it looks yeah, it looks weird. But they we watch it. That should be like out here. The, the show it's looks crazy. absolute trash. Hunter Hunter looks trash. <laughs> <laughs> it looks horrible when you see it. And in, in Hisoka, I was like, I can't take this guy seriously. Yeah, dude. yeah. Like when, just like, <laughs> when you see the characters, you're like, you can't take it. And you don't know how the power works in the show either. It's like, well, what are they using? Because right. like, like, they don't show it. Like They don't show like what's going on with them. Yeah. That's also confused. It's like, how are they going to fight? Like, what are they going to do to fight? Yeah, exactly. Like, you think, do they just punch each other? Is it just like, like, what do they do? You know, like, because you don't uh, find out about, is you don't find out about Nan until like kind of late, you know? Yeah, later. Yeah. yeah later. So it's, it's if you, you got to watch a lot of it in order to kind of understand what's going on, you know? The the main thing was like the theme song. The theme song got me. I was like, okay, I'm, I'm interested now. Like, all right. <laughs> like, what? You just gotta run away when you look up damn T one thousand over here, dude. It's like T one thousand, damn Terminator, Mortal Kombat. You That's just gotta run. Baby. <laughs> he, he, just, he, just, he just comes like like says like like Arnold. Like okay, I can't stand I. Nope. I can't stand Kurt because like English voice. I can't stand that voice. It sounds too much like a girl. Oh, you watched it in English. No, I watched the I watched the sub, but I watched like a part of it in dub, and I saw that oh, the voice I've, is like it's not girly. I, I haven't like, even oh, heard no, the, I haven't okay. even heard their English voices. Not not a single. It, it'll, it'll discourage you from watching like the dub part of it. Okay, at least for me anyway. I, the Naruto dub isn't bad, but I swear to God, the Naruto voice actor sounds like a freaking fifty year old smoker. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> it sounds so bad. You this damn art. Oh, no, he just walks towards you. Just the umbrella. You can't. <laughs> It should take damage. Why doesn't that brother take damage then break? That is the dumbest. <laughs> that is so stupid. You can just like you can just like walk towards you. You're dead. There's nothing you can do. What type of dumb weapon is that? It's such a stupid weapon. I'm gonna use that anyway. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for playing.
Hey, I gotta hey, get ready. Hey, I gotta hey, get ready for the PE hey, podcast. Hey, hey, hey. Oh my god, that was I. How many times did did did, did Chuba kill me? <laughs> that damn weapon. Eighty <laughs> billion. You, it's like <laughs> Weapons OP. I'll just. Oh, just his worst enemy, the umbrella. And the bubble thing. Oh, yeah. Christian's bubble thing. And the bubble, bubble yeah. Bubble thing, yeah. All right, guys, that wraps it up for this one here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate it. We'll be back in about an hour for the PE podcast. All right, peeps. So we'll see you guys for that. All right. Peace. 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 Thanks again for Christian for sponsoring the stream. Bye bye, Felicia's.